It's the first indoor high-rise world of fantasy and family fun. The world of Sid and Marty Croft. Day or night. The year round. In downtown Atlanta, inside Omni International. Opening May 26th. Now all the fun is indoors. Reservations recommended. Close call. I want to thank you for saving my life. Glad to be of help, Sonny. H.R. Puffin stuff. Mayor of Living Island. Terrific. I never met a mayor before. Pleased to meet you, sir. Well, howdy. How do you, Mayorship? Puffin stuff will do. <laughs> Mr. Puffin stuff. Why did that witch try to capture me? I don't even know her. You must have something she wants, and she can be pretty grabby. But I don't have anything she could possibly want. Oh. Kimberly, get me out of here. What was that? Well, in all the excitement, I forgot Freddy. This is my pal, Freddy. He's the only talking fruit in the world. Please, Jimmy, squeeze the water out of me. I'll get rusty. <laughs> <laughs> You all right, Freddy? Oh, thanks, Jimmy. Boy, that mean old witch almost drowned us. Well, I'll be horn swaggle, a solid gold talking flute with a diamond skin condition. <laughs> I'll bet you're what she's after. Me? Oh, my, Jimmy. Let's get out of here. Don't worry, Freddy. I won't let her touch you. Puff and stuff, can you help us get away? 
We better go see Dr. Blinky. Dr. Blinky? He's a man of great knowledge. Also, head of my anti-smog pollution and witch committee. <laughs> Are you here? They try hard. Follow me. Let's go to Dr. Blinky's house. Hurry, hurry. Bring that rescue racer. Hurry, boys. Come on. Bring it right up here. That's good. Okay, now hurry up, Jimmy. Get on. Get on. Quick now. Good. Okay, let's go. Now give it the gas. a fine tuning. <laughs> and until you do, don't point it at me. <laughs> Bless your pearly <laughs> beak. Let's see what those goody two-shoes are up to now. <laughs> oh, boys, oh. Here we go, Jimmy. Nice going, Kling. You too, Clang. Come on, Jimmy. Dr. Blinkies is right through these trees. Right over there. You're real cool, man, like groovy. That tree's talking. Oh, everybody talks here on Living Island. Glad to meet you. Mm. Think. How, little papoose? Look, Freddy, an Indian tree. That right, pale face. They not call me Redwood for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, Dr. Blinky's house. We'll go right in. Uh-oh! Watch out, Jimmy! Quick, run for it! Duck, Jimmy! Watch you! <laughs> Golly gee, that was awful. I never saw Hal sneeze before. He should cover his door when he sneezes. <laughs> Greetings, Mayor Puff and Stuff. Hello to your little friend. Good to see ya, Puffy. You're looking very natural. Hiya, boys. How are you? Excuse me, Dr. Blinky. I know you're very busy, but the witch is after my friends, Jimmy and Freddy. Uh, who? I'm Jimmy, and I'm Freddy. Who? Jimmy and Freddy. I know that fun stuff. You ought to know by now that all owls say who. who? See what I mean? Oops. Excuse me, I've got something cooking. Oh, careful, Doc, it's too hot! Oh, 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 my! Oh, 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 my! Those test tubes are right every time! Little devils! Well, now, yes, compose. Well, now, what can I do for you? Please, sir, the witch tricked us here to your island to steal Freddy, and we want to escape. The who? The witch, the witch. You know, the ugly lady with the broom. Who? The witch! That's who? I know that! Anyway, these two young fellas want to go home. No, Judy the Frog knows the secret way off Living Island. But the witch has captured her and... Who? Now, don't you start that. <laughs> Judy the Frog? Uh-oh. Looks like we'll have to rescue her from the witch's dungeon. The witch's dungeon? No, no, Jimmy. Let's not go there. She'll grab us. Not with this magic potion I'm brewing. It's guaranteed to protect you from the witch's spells. And it's just about ready. Is there a doctor in the house? And stuff and Jimmy are heading toward the castle. You'll soon have your golden flute. <laughs> oh, it's no fun when it's this easy. I've got a job for stupid bat. 
Keep an eye on the picture. All right, if I can stay up late and watch the scary movie. Okay, and if you're real good, I'll bring you back a roach beef sandwich. Stupid that. I want to talk to you. Stand right side up. I am right side up. You're upside down. Oh, never mind you, ding a -ling. I want you to go out into the forest to keep an eye open for Puffin Stuff and Jimmy. The right cheek, the right cheek, the right cheek. Uh, say, which eye should I keep open, the right or the left? Oh, any questions, dummy? Now go! I'm off! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> but tonight I'll be off on a toot, with my very own golden toot. <laughs> castle, castle on the moat. Who's the most beautiful witch afloat? Not you, you old girl. Oh, you're gonna get yours. <laughs> We don't want the witch to know we're coming. Jimmy, hold that magic potion ready. Gosh, you're not scared, are you? Mayors don't get scared. Why not? We're human. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Here they come. They're walking right into my trap. Calling all evil trees. Calling all evil trees. Do you read me? We, we read, read you, you all gruesome leader. leader. Stuff and Jimmy are coming your way. Grab them. I want them taken prisoner, understand? Roger. Witchy Pooh. Over and out. <laughs> I think that I shall never see a tree that's as terrifying as me. <laughs> Shut up. Keep quiet. Shh. Here they come. Strangers, how about a nut? No, thanks. How about an orange? Or a peach? Duh, it's them. It's them. <laughs> ooh, ooh, the witch wants some prisoner. Grab them. Shut up, you dumb bat. You got us mixed up. My brother's dumb. I'm stupid. Run for it, Jimmy. Help, Hurry up. Buddy. I got him. I got him. Hold him tight. Grab him. Let away. go, you rotten tree. Oh, oh, he kicked me in the roof. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Drop the cat! It's no use! If I don't do it myself, nothing is done around here! Jimmy. Here she comes. The magic potion, Jimmy. Dr. Blinky's magic potion. Quick, hurry. Run, run. Oh, what happened, Jimmy? Quick, we have to get that magic potion. Come on. Ah, that's a no-no. Oh, I've got you now, my lovelies. Now, see here, my good woman. I'm the mayor, Stand and... Stand back, Ooh. overgrown salamander. You're in my power. Let's run for it. Sneeze and we stand and freeze. <laughs> They're crows. <laughs> We did get into the witch's dungeon. At least she didn't find Freddy, thanks to you, Puff and stuff. Yeah, thanks, Mayor. Oh, it was hot under there. <laughs> Sorry about that, Freddy. Come on, cheer up, fellas. You know, Freddy, it's funny. When we woke up this morning, that beautiful summer morning, who would have thought when we went out to play? We'd start the day in clover, but before the day was over, We'd end up in another world far away We've 
always loved adventure A thrilling a new adventure A chance to chuck it all behind and run But now that we're on that brink of It's funny but all I think of Is wonder what they're doing back home The truth is, sir, we wish we were back home I quite agree, I'd like to be back home. Judy, Judy Frog, we were looking for what you. What are you all doing here in this terrible dungeon? These are my pals, Jimmy and Freddy. It's a long story, but we're here to rescue you. Oh, how wonderful! Freddy and I were hoping you could show us the magic path off the island. I'd be happy to. But how are we going to get out of here? No one's ever escaped from the witch's dungeon. Gee willikers, Jimmy, we better put on our thinking caps. Oh, oh. What is it, Freddy? Do you have an idea? Yes. Take me over there. Over to that window. Hurry. <laughs> Pull me up, Jimmy. As high as you can. Up near the bars. I got it. It won't say the note so I it broke our milk pitcher. And now he's trying to break the bars. Golly! Do you think he can do it's it? It's only chance. Blow, Freddy, blow! Gosh, I hope he doesn't strain anything. Come on, Seymour, make me beautiful. Please, Chiefy, I've only got six hands. Well, just don't stand there. Start using them. Problem. Oh, well, to the bar room. <laughs>
Oh, she's coming after us! We're gone! Oh, boy! We need help. Maybe the four winds can help us. Ho up there! This is your mayor talking. We need help! Howdy, partner. We'll be glad to help you. Thank heavens! There's the west wind. Oh, so east wind here. Hi, y'all. I'm right here too, sugar. Howdy, <laughs> north and south. Now all together. A one, a two. <laughs> Cute, Holly, but he's still a dinosaur, and that makes him dangerous. I think I'll name him Spot. Spot? Are you kidding? That thing out there is bigger than any dog I've ever seen. It's a tyrannosaur. Come on, let's get going before he sees us. Come on. Keep moving. Come on. Run. Go.
his clothes. Again. I wonder why he's so grumpy. It's not that he's so grumpy, but he's got to eat to survive. Yeah, he doesn't care what or, or who he eats. I want to go home. We all do, honey. We don't even know where we are. I don't know how we got here or why, but I think we're in another world. What makes you say that, Dad? Well, because last night I saw three moons in the sky. Three moons? But how, Dad? Well, I think it must have happened when we went over the waterfall. Remember how it never seemed to end? Just like it, it seemed to fall through a hole in space. Well, then we may never get home. No, I wouldn't say that. If there's a way in here, there's got to be a way out of here. It just might take us a while to find it. I keep on wishing this was a dream. We'd all wake up and we'd be right back home again. That doesn't sound like any dream I ever heard of. It sounds like the Tyrannosaur. He must have picked up our scent. Come on, we've got to keep moving to stay ahead of him. Let's go! Hurry, Emily! Hurry! Let's go! Hurry, Emily, hurry. Hurry. Let's go. <sighs> that was too close. Okay. Now listen, you two stay here. I'm going to see if it's safe to get back to the cave. And Will, watch your sister. Okay. Hey, let me get some water, okay? Oh, oh, all right. Holly. I thought I heard something. It came from over there. Holly. Do you hear it? it sounds like people. Let's go see. Holly. Oh, come on. Holly, we're supposed to. Oh. Are you out of your mind? You can't go walking around the jungle alone. You'll end up as lunch for that tyrannosaur. I can take care of myself. And besides, I know I heard those voices. Well, I heard the voices too, but you still can't go running around the... What is it? I don't know. It looks like it was made by intelligent beings. Do you think they could still be around? It's so smooth. You can touch it, but you, you really can't feel it. It's like, it's like touching nothing. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I wonder what it was used for. Hey, quick, duck behind that log. do that you could have been killed because if I didn't he could have been eaten oh. where's daddy hey, I... you're only gonna get germs that way say if you're so concerned about germs why are you offering him our canteen because maybe he's thirsty well he doesn't even know what you're offering him hey, come on easy all right now look 
Water, huh? Water. There you go. Huh? Oh, okay. Here, here you go. Take it. Hey, no, oh, no, no. Hey, easy. It's all right. Look, look. Drink. Huh? Okay. Hey, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's broken or not. It may only be a fracture. Can you do anything? I'd rather wait for Dad. What do you think he is? Some kind of a caveman, a monkey, or what? Hey! Eh, fair's fair. I bet he's just as curious as we are. Hey, you know, I'll bet he's a, he's some kind of uh, ape or something. Only evolved like everything else in this world. Seems kind of smart though. Hi, cousin. Oh. Hey, uh, Will? Holly. Will? Holly. Where are? Ari. Hey. Chaka. 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 <laughs> Chaka. Chaka. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look. Human. Humans. Human? Uh huh, yeah, human. Human. Paku. Paku ne. Hey, now you see, it's simple. He's not a caveman at all. He's a Paku. Whatever that is. Well, Grumpy's still in the meadow and he's still hungry. He's running down to some kind of a monkey, a mid afternoon snack, I guess. Hello, who's this? It's Grumpy Snack. It looks like a chimp. He's a Paku. His leg is broken. Hey, take it easy. Chaka, easy. Friend. Look, I'm, I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I'm not really a doctor, you know, so, uh, You'll just have to trust me. Uh, Will, let's get him back to the cave where I can work on him. All right? Okay, yeah. Hey, look, I'm... I, Dad, wait. I think I better do it. I think he trusts me, okay? All right. Come on, Chaka. Easy. Friend. No, e e e come on. No, oh, come on. I'll be easy. Come on. Friend, Chaka. Friend. Come on. Friend, Chaka. Oh. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. It's okay. That's okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? How are we going to get him up to the cave? Well, I thought we'd pull him up in the basket. Holly, you come on with me, and, and Will, listen, you wait here with our friend, okay? Okay, then. Come on, Holly. Hey, 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 come on. It's okay, okay? Also. Also? Also. Oh, water? Oh, okay. Hey, I'm learning Pakuni. Hey, hey Will. Yeah, Dad. Put Chuck in the basket. Okay. Come on, Chuck. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna go up there. Come on. Easy now. Easy now. Come on. He's not gonna hurt you. Come on. Come on. He'll be all right. Hey, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Hurry up, son. Easy. 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 No hurts. Come on. Easy. Okay, Dad. But, all right. But, but slow, okay? Yeah. Hey, easy now. No, Grumpy, not now. Will, go back and get Chaka, quick. Lauren, Dad, easy. Quick.
never learns, does he? Well, what do you expect? His brain's only the size of a walnut. Let's get the fly sweater. Okay, Holly? Holly, don't go calling grumpy names. I mean, it's not his fault that he's stupid. Hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah, Will, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, how about you? Fine. Hey, easy, easy. You can come out now, Will. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we can't. We'll tie a loop in the end of our rope and throw it down to you. OK. Hey, it'll be just a minute. Come on, easy. Boil some water, Holly. This wound's going to have to be cleaned. Dad, I need your lighter. Careful not to burn it. You can't burn water. The way you cook, you can. Daddy! That's enough now. You're going to have to cook tomorrow, Will. Aw, oh, Dad! And the day after. Okay, little fella. Now, this is gonna hurt just for a moment, but I've got to do this. <coughs> it's okay. Thanks, Holly. Good, it's not too hot. I'll clean this wound out. A friend, Chuck, a friend. For Ren? <sighs> okay, Will, will you help me here? Put one on top. I want to put one underneath. Hold it now, there, Chuck. Let's tie this. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It shouldn't hurt anymore. I had to set your leg so that it would heal clean. You were very lucky, Chuck. You only had a slight fracture. <laughs> Why am I talking to you, Chuck? You don't understand English, do you? He can learn. Can we keep him? No, Holly. People don't own other people. Chucka will stay with us just as long as he wants to, or until you can get up and walk out of here on your own. All right, Chucka. You should be comfortable now. Ota, Ota. Uh-uh, Chucka. That's not for a Paku to play with. Fire's dangerous. Do you think he likes it here? No, I think he's still just a little bit afraid of us. You know, I'm sure that he misses his own people and would like to get back to him. Yeah. Come on, mm -hmm. let's go to sleep. Okay. okay. Night, Dad. Good, Good night. Good night, Holly. Will.
hold it, little fella. Just hold it. Why is he running from us? Here's the reason. He took my lighter. He probably wanted to take fire to his people. Hey, but Dad, they already know how to make fire. But only with flint. I'll bet he thinks this is great magic. Come on, let's get going. Okay. Hey! Hey, Abu! Sa efe ye de tum erukani! Ye ba! Are you both okay? Yeah. Now stay okay. close to me. I think they think that we've captured Chaka, and they could be dangerous. Okay. Hey, so this is how you treat a friend? Maybe he doesn't consider us friends, Will. We gave you water. We saved you from Grumpy. We fixed your leg. It's Grumpy! be darned. He can learn things. Hey, yeah. Uh, I think we could maybe uh, teach him to sit up and beg. <laughs> I'd be happy if he just played dead. For real. Yeah. You know, it's funny how things worked out. I mean, we saved Chaka from Grumpy, and Grumpy saved us from Chaka. We just wanted your lighter. I know, but we need it, too. I'm disappointed. I thought Chaka was our friend. Well, it would have been nice, but it takes a lot of trust to make a friend, Holly. Maybe next time. It isn't Crumpy again, is it? No, it's something else. It's the front of the cave. Wow, look at this! <laughs> Just like breakfast in bed. But where'd it come from? Look, down there. It's footprints. I think Chaka paid us a visit in the night. You know, I guess he wants to be friends with us after all. You mean we'll get to see him again? You know something? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> come on, let's see. Let's come on, kick in while we've got a chance. Hey, look at the let's size see. of this. I know. God. Dad, what's this? Looks like a melon. Huh. Nothing like this on Earth. I know. <laughs> Come on, eat. I'm hungry. I love these things. Oh. Mmm, little girl. Can you imagine bobbing for these on Halloween, Dad? Don't pray. 
now. Johnny, what do you think's the best place for us to keep them? The hideout? Have to, the house is out, that's for sure. Yeah, if Zelda got one look at him, she'd go through the roof, shingles and all. <laughs> Taking a talk and see Monster Home. Man, we gotta be bananas. <laughs> Easy, fellas. I think I'm getting land sick. Hey, watch it, Scott. Whoa! Look out! Let's get the floor up. Get out of here. Sigmund! Oh. Sigmund! Oh. Take it easy, Sigmund. It's us. Oh. Phew. Phew. Thank Neptune. I thought those horrible round-footed creatures were after me again with their staring glass eyes and those weird sounds and... Those were just cars. Relax. Hop on. We got to take you home before something else happens. Okay. But don't drop me anymore. <laughs> Where are we going? Let me put my side down first. Oh, look out. Come on. Well, where are we? Shh. Come on. We're here. Whew. This will be where you stay, Sigmund. What do you think? Hey! This sure looks like a fun cave. <coughs> hey, Scott. Better fill this so Sigmund can have it for dunking. Oh. Hey, yeah. by the way, Sigmund, how long can you see monsters stay out of the water? Oh, for days. We're the modern kind, you know. Drip dry. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice of you fellas to take me home with you after my family threw me out. But I just couldn't scare anyone. I just couldn't. Johnny! Scotty! Oh, Zelda's coming. Oh, Zelda's coming. Uh, what's a Zelda? <laughs> See, Zelda's our housekeeper. And while Mom and Dad are away, she's in charge. What's going to happen to me? Well, don't you worry about that. You'll be fine out here. It's off limits to adults. What's an adult? Well, <laughs> oh, never mind. We'll be back as soon as we can. Oh. Come on. Oh, boy. Weird. Weird, that's all. Just... Oh. Hi! How do you fellows like it here? <laughs> I'll see you two clams and raise you a fin. Yeah, you're only bluffing. I'll see you. A pair of swordfish. <laughs> Read them and weep. <laughs> hold it. Swordfish. Just hold it. Three squid. I win. Oh, <laughs> no fair. You cheated. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. You fell off the bottom. You're a bitch. You are. You're a bitch. Hold it. Hold it, you dingbats. Now, no. Oh, oh, what would you do that for? Let's have a little peace and quiet around here. I'm turning on Shellavision. Oh, boy. It's time for our favorite oh, show. Yeah. Goody, oh, goody, goody. That. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, go, go. All right. Go, go. All right. Stifle, the program is starting. Now, quiet, you fish heads. I thought it was going to be peaceful around here with that knucklehead Sigmund gone. Now, NBC, the monster broadcasting company, brings you their new hit show, Serpent and Son. Oh, oh, oh I, I, I love, love it. Oh, Serpent and Son. Oh, that's oh. great. Oh. Now what? Oh, Who yeah. could be calling at a time like this? <laughs> oh, get the phone here. Shallow? Who is it? And make it snappy. I ain't got all day. Who? Great Uncle Siggy. Great, Great Uncle, Uncle Siggy! Siggy. Oh, shut up, boy. shut up! Oh, no, not you, Uncle Siggy. Of course not. You know you're our favorite uncle. And, and our, our richest. richest. <laughs> How's our favorite nephew, little Sigmund? Uh, oh, uh, Sigmund's, uh, Sigmund's just fine. Never felt better. You'd like to say hello to him? Oh, uh, huh? Caddy, Caddy's not here. 
He's the Knock it off. Knock it off. Sorry, Uncle Siggy, but uh, Sigmund just ran out to uh, terrify a few humans. Always in there, scare, scare, scare. You know, you'd be proud of him. Well, I'll tell him you called, and uh, you'll tell him yourself. You're going to drop by the cave in an hour. Wonderful. <laughs> Bye, Uncle Siggy. Oh. Uh, how can he see Sigmund when he ain't here? Why is he gonna be back? Oh, this is awful. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Hello, everybody. We're home. Hi. <laughs> Fruits just had a lovely walk. <laughs> Good boy, Mama's little angel. <laughs> oh, am I glad to see you, sweet Mama. We're in big trouble. The Uncle Siggy just called. Uncle Siggy? You mean great Uncle Siggy? Great rich Uncle Siggy. And he's on his way over here to see his favorite nephew and namesake, Sigmund. Sigmund? And if he finds out that little dummy ran away, he'll cut us off without a shell. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? You mean what are you gonna do? You boobs drove my little angel Sigmund away. So now you better get him back before Uncle Siggy gets here, or heads will roll. <laughs> well, you heard, sweet mama. After it, you go get Sigmund and drag him back here on the double, double. Uh, we'll, ow, get ow, ow. we'll get Sigmund. We'll get Sigmund. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, let's go get, get him. I'll we'll go this him. way. We'll I'll hit him. We'll get him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wonderful, Chuck. Dinner will be at 6.30. See you then, Sheriff. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, hey, Johnny. Uh, Scott. Oh, I've got some terribly exciting news. Guess who's joining us for dinner tonight? That handsome, ever-loving Sheriff Bevins. Sheriff Bevins? Mm -hmm. Here tonight? Yes. And so remember, boys, now this is an all points bulletin. Nothing, absolutely nothing better go wrong tonight. Do you read me? <laughs> I said, do you read me? Oh, uh, yes, Zelda. Of Sorry. course, Zelda. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, Chuck, I'm Sheriff Bevins will be driving his brand new patrol car. We'll be the first ones in town to see it. Won't that be a thrill? <laughs> So won't that be a thrill? Oh, sure, terrific. Fantastic. Better go wash up. Yeah, wash up. <laughs> First time I've ever seen those two move that fast at soap and water. <laughs> My. I guess they're as thrilled as I am. Hope there's a full moon tonight. <laughs> well, we told you to stay out of sight. If Zelda sees you, you're a goner. Gosh, I'm sorry, fellas, but I got so lonesome out there all alone. We're sorry about that, Sigmund, but you've got to stay in the clubhouse. Tonight, especially. Yeah, we'll drop out and see you as soon as we can and bring you some dinner. Hey, it'll just have to be brave. And we're going to take you to the clubhouse. Oh, but I don't want to go. <laughs> well, you're going to have to. Come, Come on, on, Sigmund. Come on, Sigmund. No, 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 no
say hello to your favorite uncle, Sonny. Oh, uh, hello, favorite uncle, Sonny. <laughs> mm. ah, ah. Cute, isn't he? That Sigmund always in there with the funnies. Ah. Good. Well, I never. Saw uh, let me show you around our little cave of minium. Just come with me, <laughs> and I'll show you. Hey, Zelda, darling, how are you? Oh, Chuck, it's beautiful. Well, now, say, you, you, you're looking kind of pretty yourself. Oh. It sure is nifty, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, it's real cool. Say, you boys better behave yourself? Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Sure thing. Sure. Well, come on, come on, let's eat. Ten, four, I'm hungry. <laughs> no cooking tonight, no cooking tonight, no cooking tonight. Cold monster de la <laughs> Yes, nice little place you have here. Oh, thanks, Uncle Ziggy. Won't be long now, Uncle dear. Yeah, oh, here he comes. Ah, Sigmund, my, oh, my. You've gotten to be a big fella. Well, uh, uh, you haven't seen him since he was a little guppy. Dinner's almost ready, Uncle Dear. Yeah, sweet mama's making your favorite barbecue brisket of barracuda. Say, one of your litters is missing, ain't he? If I recall, there's Blurp, Slurp, and Sigmund. Uh, that's right. Are you Blurp or Slurp? Though I'm Blurp. And I'm Slurp. Hey, I mean, uh, I'm Sigmund. <laughs> yes, Slurp is out. Uh, that's right. That's where I am. I mean, he is. I mean, Sigmund is. I mean, I'm oh, the Will oh. you stop seahorsing around, Sigmund? Yeah, cut it out, Sigmund. Yes, cut it out is right. The whole caboodle of you. This dumbbell isn't Sigmund. No way. Now, what's going on here? Where's my favorite nephew? Try them out, you hear? Uh, oh, ah. oh, well, I wish we could, Uncle. But, well, to tell the truth, Sigmund's run away from home. What? Sigmund ran away from home? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, we were too upset to tell you. Sea monsters do run away from home. Well, this one, dear. <laughs> hey, the nerve of all of you lying to me. Your great uncle, your rich great uncle. Well, you better get Sigmund back in a hurry, or I'll cut you out of my will without a tadpole. Uncle Siggy, could I be your favorite nephew? I'd rather be captured by Marineland. <laughs> oh, stifle yourself. Now, 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 don't worry, Uncle, don't worry. We'll have darling Sigmund back here in two shakes of an eel's tail. Uh, uh, maybe uh, even one shake. Well, you better. A sea monster running away from home. I never heard of it. Uh, what's this world coming to? Bye. <laughs> Sigmund, then we clobber them. Come on, come on, tippy tentacles, tippy tentacles, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Tippy, tippy, tippy. Oh, find you, find you. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, they're gonna attack Johnny and Scott. I gotta warn them, gotta warn them. Oh boy. This is delicious. I tell you, you boys just don't know how lucky you are to have Zelda whipping up your vittles uh -huh. for you. We know. Zelda, can I please have some more pot rolls? And I'd like another helping of potatoes, please. What's the matter with you boys tonight? Well, you're eating like young sheriffs. <laughs> oh, but they don't get their badge so they can make those sparks fly. <laughs> Well, they usually eat like birds. You boys find another stomach someplace? <laughs> oh, 
this is just marvelous, Elvis. I'd like it. <laughs> I better go get him some more water. There's more here on the table. Now, easy does it, lad. Well, perhaps I'd better go and see. No, no, no. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. They're just growing boys in the... Besides, I, I'd like to talk to you about this delicious pot roast. Oh. Well, I brown it in some onions. <laughs> oh, but they're outside, I tell you. Blur and Slurp have come to drag me back. Oh. What are we going to do? Yeah, what, what, what? Well, we've got to scare him away somehow, without Zelda or the sheriff knowing what we're doing, and without anyone getting hurt. Including us. Yeah, and we got to get you back to the hideout. A little after dinner concert. <laughs> Not exactly. It's a new album I bought. Music to wash dishes by. Oh boy. Oh there. Oh where? Okay. Come on, Sigmund. Hurry, hurry. Come. Oh, there they are. Oh, Did you see two humans and a stupid-looking sea monster go by? <laughs> shh, shh. Huh. What's the matter, Mac? Catfish got your tongue? Mac, you dope. Can't you see she's a girl? What? That's a girl? Of course. Oh, look at those cute eyes. Oh. And uh, how about those nice round legs? Oh. Oh. Hey, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Hi, you beautiful. How about a day? Yeah. How about you and us going dancing? Hmm? I think the car's a girl monster. Yeah, which gives me an idea. I think I have to leave the room. Shh. Here's what we do. Say, how about a little kiss? <laughs> Nothing. She sure don't talk much. Stuck up, dame. Snob. I wouldn't go out with her if she were the last monster on Earth. Yeah. Right. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh that did it. Oh, now we got her man. Uh, yeah, she's given us the evil eye. <laughs> Oh, oh, please, lady, we didn't mean it. Oh, she talks all right. Just listen to her. Oh, oh she's a screaming banshee. Oh, 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 and she bites. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh, Come on, oh, Daddy. Sweet Daddy. Quick, Sigma, take off. Hide. What in the world's going on out here? Who's been fooling with my car? What have you boys been up to? Well, you see, we we saw these two prowlers. Prowlers? Yeah, prowlers, that's what they were. And you boys turn on the lights and the siren to scare them off. 
Well, that's brilliant. Well, what's the world coming to? Anybody trying to steal a sheriff's car? And they'd have gotten away with it, too, Zelda, if these two brave boys hadn't chased them off. Well... Now, 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 no modesty. I'm proud as punch of both of them. Yeah, so am I. Well, say, Zelda, uh, I sure enjoyed the supper. It was good, but I better get my hat and uh, my uh, doggy bag. And... I know, and 10-4. <laughs> You're learning, darling. You're learning. <laughs> Come on, get you back to the hideout. Oh. oh, you mean I can stay? You're letting me stay? After all the trouble I almost got you in? Of course you could stay. Shh. You better run, better hide. We gotta keep you outside. Be careful, say, man. Cover your tracks when you leave, cause you know Zelda won't believe your friend. Siggy, Sigmund's not back yet, but don't worry. Next time you're in town, we'll have him for you. Bye. I'll get you for this, you dig back. Let Sigmund get away. This is your big daddy talking. Makes me smile. I like his style. The Buggaloos? You asked for it. No, cut it out. No. <laughs> well, sleep in beauty's finally making the scene. <laughs> Good morning. Blimey, the emergency alarm. Somebody's in trouble. What's up, Bluebell? What's wrong? What's the matter? What is it, Bluebell? Where? Who's trouble? in trouble? Where are they? What is it? I just got an urgent message from the grapevine. Somebody needs help fast. Oh, where? It's a poor little firefly. Yeah. He got hit by a car. He's in bad shape. 
Tell us where the Firefly is. Come on, shake a leaf. Hurry, please. He's alongside the road at the north end of the forest. Let's go, Bugloos. We gotta fly. Thanks a lot, old grapes. Tranquility Forest, the last of the British colonies. We're the Bugaloos. I'm Joy. That's Harmony. How'd you do? Courage and IQ. Hi, I'm Sparky, and I sure want to thank you for rescuing me. Uh, uh, is there anything broken? Uh, whoops. <laughs> no, your wings are in great shape. See? Yeah, go ahead, try them. Give them a flutter. Oh, no. Oh, really? Super, come on, fly. You'll see. Yeah, come on, Sparky. Let's get up in the apple pie. Apple apple pie? The sky, man, the sky. Come on. Oh, no, I can't. You can what? I can't fly. You're putting us on. But you're a firefly. Fire, fly. I tried it once, and it scared me to death. I can't. Never say can't, mate. There's nothing to Just it. Just start flapping your wings. We'll help you. No, put me down. I don't want to go up in the apple pie. We go. Oh, let me down. Let me down. I'm getting nauseous. I, I think I'm going to throw up. You're doing great, pal. You're ready to go out alone. Right. Here goes. No, don't let go. I'll crash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, help. Get me out of here. He was right. He can't fly. <laughs> and here it is, gang, another pop pit by your old platter pick a Peter Platter. Lay your ears on the electric spinach playing their new hit, Stay You Buttermilk. Hip, Louie, it's a bomb. <laughs> Why, don't argue with the boss. Peter, Peter Platter. Yahoo! How's the golden throat? Gorgeous as ever, Peter Precious. Look, I'm gonna cut a new record. Will you play it, huh, Love Bug? Love Bug? Blech! <laughs> Shut up, Skinny. If it's in the groove, I'll play it. Just send it around, Chicky. Oh, thank you. Thank you, great big gorgeous hunk of... of a... hunk of a... well, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! You'll need a coin, my boss. Oh, yeah. I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Go. Go live in a jukebox. <laughs> Any messages, Flash? No, boss. No one called. Everybody. Wolfer! Tweeter! Coming. Coming. Hi, yeah, boss, boss. You're late. Yeah, where have you been? You dum-dums will never guess who I've been talking to in person. Uh, let's see. Peter Patter, the king of all disc jockeys. No. Wanna guess again? Guess again? I'm telling you like it is, you twin twerps. <laughs> oh. Oh. Peter Patter said... If he likes my next record, he's gonna play it on the air. Now, how does that grab you, you wacky little weirdo? 
Klaus? Movie. Out of sight. Yeah, if Peter Platt uploads your record, it will sell a million. Maybe a billion. But you dum-dums, you still haven't found me a rock group that can back me up. Did we ever let you down? We found them, and here they are. The Mopheads. <laughs> Holy Humberdink. What a rock group. <laughs> Where'd you find them? Under the rock? <laughs> Play, play. Put on your supersonic sneakers, cause you're going to the party with me. Babe. <laughs> so please, boss, boss, take it easy. Yeah, that could become your big hit record. <laughs> oh, it'll be a hit, all right. Watch. We'll really have to work on your flying, mate. Please, let's forget it. <laughs> but you can't give up, Sparky. You've got to learn. Yeah, straight up, Sparky. How can you expect to carry out your duties as a firefly? I mean, you'd look pretty silly walking around at night, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, I never go out at night. I'm afraid of the dark. <laughs> Man, you've got more hang-ups than a clothes closet. I'm just a born loser. What kind of talk is that? Stop putting yourself down. If you don't believe in yourself, you can't expect anyone else to. If you listen to the sounds that surround you, you'll discover that you're never quite alone Hear the earth and the sky Say they love you And they're happy that you're here to share their home So take the time to taste the honey in a salad Let your heart see the colors all around you And the darkness that you fear will disappear See the treasures that abound all around you And believe that Mother Earth is glad you are here so take the time to taste the honey in a silent breeze. Touch the last song every bird has learned to sing. Smell the sunlight as it warms you on the coolest day. And you'll feel So take the time to taste the honey in a summer breeze. Touch the last song every bird. Where's that coming from? Where is it? Where is it? That group is out of sight. Where are you being with them in from? They're out in the forest, about ten miles outside of town. Oh, just listen to them. Oh, I've got to have them for my very own. I must. I must. Oh, and what if they won't come? Yeah, what if? Then we'll drag them by the guitar strings. <laughs> let's go. Come on, let's move it. I'm a double. <laughs> Stone, 
Black Rose. What is it? The bus just got in from Mars. It's her, it's her. She's the crazy driver that almost hit me. Well, now let's get out of business. I'm Benita Bazaar, and I just dig your music. Yes, it really turns me on. It's just wild, wild, great. <laughs> Look at that mouth. What a northern self. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna give you bugs the biggest break you ever had in your life. I'm gonna let you make a hit record with me. Dig? Make a record with you? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Bazaar, but we can't really accept your offer. You can't? Well, who asked you, sweet? After all, we only need one girl singing in this group, and it's me. <laughs> sorry, Chicky, but that's the record biz. But you're sweet. Look. <laughs> <Look. laughs> Come on, kiddies. I'm gonna put you in the big time. Thanks, but no thanks, ma'am. Instead of making records, you should concentrate on safe driving. Right. You could have really hurt Sparky. Yeah, you could have really done him in. Ah, oh, forget that little splash in the pan. I'm going to make you stars. Stars, stars! <laughs> no, thanks. You mean you're turning me down? All of you? Well, you're sick. Sick, sick, sick. Come on, let's get out of here. I've had enough of these deadbeats. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, chicken. But that's a bug, Pants. <laughs> Did you see it? I didn't believe it. Uh, boss, boss, you feeling all right? Yeah, we've never seen you give up this easy. Who's giving up? I'll teach those brats to give me the brush off. This is it. You, you mean? mean? Yes. <laughs> Get out my ultrasonic high-frequency stereo zapper. Blimey, it's her again. Yoo-hoo! Benita's back. Oh, have I got a surprise for you? <laughs> what surprise is that? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Sweet dreams, duckies. Time to go night night. Well, turn off, you dummy. I don't want them to go up and smoke. Still haven't played for me. Oh, they're mine. Oh, mine. Blimey. I finally have my, my very own British rock group. <laughs> Okay, those are mine. Oh, I tell you, the trouble you have to go to these days to find new talent. <laughs> it just drives me out of my mind. <laughs> well, we're almost ready to start recording. <laughs> Benita and the Buckaloos, how does that grab you? We already told you, lady, no way. Look, we're not going to play for you, so you're blinging well better let us go. Oh, bigger well better let it go, eh, mates? <laughs> Maybe a little torture might change your mind. What more can you do us? We've already heard you sing. Oh, that's cute. Cute. <laughs> oh, I'd like to... <laughs> oh, well, I... I wasn't intending to torture you, dear boys. No. <laughs> I'm just talking about your dear little friend... Joy. Joy! Help! What are you going to do with her? You shall soon see, sweeties. dum da dum dum no, shut it off. We'll play for you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to make a real good chick out of her. Please, help me. We'll make all the records you want. Help! Help! Turn it off, quick. All right, kitties. If that's the way you feel. Oh, I'm such a little devil. <laughs> have a hit record. I'm finally going to be a star. Love it. Love it. Now's the time to rush him, mate. Right. I'll grab a stereo zapper and you guys handle the other two. Blimey, no, we can't risk Joy getting hurt. But we got to get her out of here. That'll bat some menace. I think I'm going to faint. Sparky, come on. <laughs> hey, just look at all those doodahs over there. Sure wouldn't take much to short circuit that lot. Yeah. One more plug-in and Zowie, it wrecked the joint. And maybe in the excitement, we'd have a chance to escape. But how could we? Where are we going to find? <laughs> you mean me? You want me to Zowie? Oh, no, I can't. Sparky, you've got to. For joy. I'm ready. <laughs> How's my group, huh? All set to go? All set. Let's hit that groove, darling. <laughs> darling. Darling. <laughs> Love that bug. Shall we make a tape? Go, Firefly. Light my fire. Do, do, do. Go, baby, go, go. Put on your supersonic sneakers, cause you're going to the party with me. I 
can dig your heart for tension Cause you know there's nothing neater than me <laughs> Babe Now we're heading for the action You're going with the leader That's the Babe I know the Rolling Stones will sock it To the brand new superstar up Put on your supersonic sneakers You're going to the party with me Yeah, babe Put on your supersonic sneakers Going to the party with me Yeah, babe Supersonic sneakers Going to the party Let's go, Bubba! Hit me up, you goofy glowworm Wolfer, Peter, blast them! I cue! with those darn stereo outfits. You just can't get the bugs out of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of you. You came through when we needed you most. You're a hero. You saved our lives. How about that? I didn't chicken out this time. <laughs> it just goes to prove you can do anything you want to, as long as you've got confidence in yourself. You can even fly. Yeah, I can even fly. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't let go. Oh! You can do it. You've got to try. Go get him, Tiger. It's up, up and away. I can fly. I can fly. No, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> Sparky! <laughs> that little blighter don't need confidence. He needs a parachute. <laughs> well, mates, back to the drawing board. <laughs> Up 
and stuff was watching too and knew exactly what to do. He saw the witch's bold attack and as the boy was fighting back, he called his rescue racer crew as often they'd rehearsed and off to save the boy they flew. But who would get there first? But, but now, now the boy had washed ashore. Puff arrived to save the day, which made the witch so mad and sore. She shook her fist and screamed away. H.R. Puff and Stuff, who's your friend when things get rough? H.R. Puff and Stuff, can't do a little cause you can't do enough. H.R. Puff and Stuff, he's your friend when things get rough. H.R. Puff and Stuff, can't do a little cause you can't do enough. Our glory be customers. <laughs> right this way, folks. Step right up. How'd you like to buy a hut? <laughs> a hut? What? You name it, I got it. Well, what we were looking for, Mr. Lion, is a way for Freddie and me to get home. Without the witch finding out. Ah, oh, yes, witch. Charming creature, if you like hags. Let's see. You need a secret way off the island. I've got just the thing. Now, where did I put it? Ah, uh, here it is. Just happened to have one left. An authentic, secret, genuine escape map with clues to the golden key that opens the magic golden escape door. Terrific! That sounds like just what we need. May I tell you what I'm gonna do? If you're not satisfied, if you don't find that this is a real... Ah, 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 chew! Ancient, genuine escape map. I'll give you your buttons back. Buttons? Who said anything about buttons? I heard someone mention it. Let's see, who could it have been? All right, Ludacris. How much? Ten buttons. That sounds like an awful lot. I haven't got a button in my pocket. I don't even have a pocket. No buttons, no map. And I might point out, no escape. Well, can you change this hundred button piece? Can I? <laughs> Keep your eyes on the flashing fingers of Ludacris Lion. All right, button, button, button. Who's got the button? There you are, my lucky little lollipops. Follow instructions, tap, and you'll soon be waving bye-bye to the nasty old witch. Thank you, Mr. Lyon. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, Chris. Bye. <laughs> You're so beautiful, so marvelous, so wonderfully evil. I love you. <laughs> Clean up! Clean up! I broke another. Ouija Poo, come quick. They're escaping with the talking flute. My flute? The talking flute? Out of my way, you better octopus. Let me <laughs> Pushy, pushy, pushy. Ah, so they're trying to escape again, eh? What is that they're holding? <gasps> it's a golden key escape map. But they'll never escape from me, not unless I have Freddy Flute first. What's your plan, my night-blooming witchy-poo? Stick around and watch, you overgrown chicken. Stick around and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you hit me? I'm not going to escape. Neither are they, my pouting pigeon. Neither are they. Keep Dusty and use all your own. Parson, keep an eye on the image machine. I'll be right back, understand? Jumping jelly beans. There's the three round rocks, just like it says on the map. Right. It says take ten paces to the left, then six to the right, and then we find the first part of the golden key. Let's pace it off. Hurry. I beg your pardon. We're awfully sorry, ma'am. Beg pardon, but we're looking for part of the golden key. So that's what this is. I found it. Thought it was a piece of jewelry. Here you are. Thank you, Mum. Puff and stuff, Freddy. I have it. I have it. Ooh, we. Thanks for helping, ma'am. Make nothing of it. A toodaloo. Gee, willikers, Jimmy. I guess that map is real. All we need now are the two other parts of this magic golden key, and you'll be on your way home. What's the next clue? Listen to this. Puppy dogs are born with no bark, and so am I. What does that mean? 
I don't rightly know, Jimmy, but if you don't know something, the best thing to do is ask someone. Ask us. We trees are pretty sharp. Some of us even have needles. <laughs> Good idea, sir. Trees, this is your mayor talking. Can you tell us what this riddle means? Puppy dogs are born with no bark. So am I. That's way out, man. I dig riddles. I know what he means. No, but I sure can dig it. Crazy, man. Uh, 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 Who's that? That's that whippersnapper, the baby tree. Uh, He's always yapping uh, about something. Uh, Please don't cry. I'm always so cold. I don't get my bark until I grow old. Jimmy, that's the clue. Don't you see? Baby trees are born with no bark, and grown trees all have their bark. Of course, the bark on the trees. I get it now. So the second part of the key is underneath me, the baby tree. Hurry, get it, cling and clang. Good work, boys. Does it fit? Jumping jelly beans. It fits. Yippee, one more to go. Thank you for helping us, baby tree. We'll be seeing you. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Hurry up, boys. We've got to find the next clue. Move along. Hurry, hurry. What was that? Empty ghost? It's coming this way. Quick, get down. Hide. Oh, it's working perfectly. Wait. Oh, wait till I show them this one. Oh, hello there, fellas. Hello there. Dr. Blinky. Did you hear that awful sound? Of course I heard it. I made it. It's my new invention. It's a sound box that makes all the sounds ever heard in the whole world. See, this is a button that made the spooky sound you just heard. Listen. Hey, that's terrific. Perhaps we can borrow it. It might come in handy on our search for the golden key. Why not? Here, the sound box is yours. In case you're attacked, just press the red button. Those are war noise buttons. Makes every war sound you ever heard. You'll scare the pants off them. That is, if they're wearing any. <laughs> oh, my God. Clay, you shouldn't have pushed that button. <laughs> What's going on? Let me see. Wah, wah, that's a horror movie. You switch channels, you're supposed to watch those income moves. But, Witchy Poo, it was time for our favorite scary movie. I'll scare you. <laughs> I've got to find them myself. <laughs> Here they are. They're walking right into my evil forest. I'll fix them. <laughs> now, hear this. Calling all evil trees, tombstones, and mushrooms. Be on the alert. Grab that boy in the flute, especially the flute. Do you read me? Roger. Witchy poo. Over and out. <laughs> it's going to be a little surprise they won't expect, they eh, are, sir? What do you think of your sweet little witchy poo now? I have a very good suggestion, which I make in all humility, my dear Miss Witch. What is that, my sweet? Stop! The map only shows an X. But look, Jimmy, there's a written clue. Find a mushroom with a cigar, tweak it once, and there you are. A mushroom with a cigar? That must be where the last part of the key is. Well, if it isn't my friend Jimmy, you look like you've come a long way. Why don't you sit down on my cap and rest? No, Jimmy, no, don't touch them. They belong to the witch. One touch and you'll turn into a mushroom too. But we have to get the key. Let me go. I can squeeze between those mean mushrooms. No offense, but you're too big. All right, Jimmy, but be careful. Remember, don't touch those mushrooms, you hear? And look for the one with the cigar. Now watch it, boy. Come here and feel how smooth and soft we are. Careful, Jimmy. Careful. Oh, look out, Jimmy, behind you. Watch out. Oh, my. Hey, kid, come here. I'm not gonna bite you. 
I'm not afraid of you. Ouch! He tweaked my cigar. Look, Jimmy. Look, Jimmy. The key. The key. Help, evil trees. Help. We're, We're coming. coming. Look out, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, come swing on my branch. Jimmy, come here. I have some walnuts for you. Run, Jimmy. Run. Run. What's that terrible noise? What happened? Cling pressed the sound box by mistake. Thanks, little pal. That mistake saved us. Let's get out of here. Jimmy, wait up. I guess we're all out of danger now. Try the key, Jimmy. Try it. Oh, boy. Look. It fits. We've got the golden key. Hooray! Hooray! Drat and double drat. They've got the key. I must stop them before they get to the golden door. What are you going to do, Witchy Poo? You're a big help. I'll have to trade you in for a plump chicken. Where's Seymour? Seymour! Come in, Witchiness. Your number one wand is all fixed and ready to go. Let me have it, dummy. Where, where? Now to say it. Jumping butterballs. That key is just like a compass. It's pointing and telling us which way to go. Freddy, I think we're on our way home. And free from the old witch at last! Let's go! Now, when they follow the sign, they'll come to my golden door. Oh, here it is! The sign we've been looking for! This way to the golden door. By golly, Jimmy, that's it. The end of the road. Did you hear that, Freddy? We're almost there. There's a great big rainbow waiting there at the end of the road with the answer to our every prayer. At the end of the road, there's a golden door and a golden key and the waiting for both you and me. All we have to do is follow the signs we see to the end of the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no need for them to know this is the rear door to my dungeon. Gnats and snails and rattlesnake tails make this wooden door that's old turn into a door of gold. Well, just in case the key doesn't fit. I'll leave the door open a bit. Now we'll see how their foolish map will lead them right to my very own trap. <laughs> oh, I'm a devil. Bye! Hurry, boys. Right this way. I think we're getting there. Golly gee, look at that door. It's terrific. Where do you suppose it leads to? to some secret tunnel, I suspect. Hold on, Jimmy. It looks kind of suspicious. Let me go first. Here they come. They're right into my trap. Oh, this is too good to be true. Orson, this is the golden door button. When I say now, press it. Then the door will close and I'll have them all and my golden flute. Shh. My wondrous witchy poo, what did you say was the word for closing the door? Now. You got it. I didn't say now. I meant when I said now. You noodle knows. You close the door too soon. It's closing. Come on, stop. Come back. Come on, stop. Can you hear me? Are you all right?
boy will try to rescue Puff and Stuff. Then we'll grab him and the flute. Right, Orson? <laughs> <laughs> Right, my queen of darkness. Well, finally, that's one for me. <laughs> Here's the plan, men. Dr. Blinky says this box makes all the sounds of war. So when I press these red war noise buttons, the witch will think she's being attacked by an entire army. Then she'll run away, and we'll go in and rescue Puff and stuff. Got it, men? Let's move forward. Blast off! I'll bring in the artillery! Now the bombers! Keep your tanks moving! Listen to that! That sounds like an army! We're under attack! It's war! It's war! I hear a tank! A tank that I shall never see! A tree that runs as fast as me! <laughs> Take to the hills! We're under attack! We're under attack! It sounds like an army! Do something! Do something! You do something! You're a leader! Use your wand! Throw some of your magic around! I can't, stupid! It doesn't work in case of war! I can only do evil when there's peace! I can't compete with the big boys! <laughs> He's using the sound box to frighten the witch. Go to it, Jimmy boy. Get some rocks! Try and break some windows! Can't we make peace? Peace! Please, Witchy Poo, go out and tell him we want peace! That's it! Congratulations, you dodo! You finally came up with something! <laughs> while I go out and negotiate peace terms with the enemy. Make sure you come back and let us out, you hear? It'll be my pleasure, but you know these peace talks could go on for a long time. <laughs> we surrender! Work, boys. Thanks for saving me. It's good to see you again, Pop. I was sure worried about you. Let's go, fellas. We better get away before the witch finds out the only war around here is in our sound box. <laughs> <laughs> The whole army is retreating. All five of them. Huff and Stuff, Jimmy, Kling and Clang, and Freddy Flute. There, the whole army? Drat! We've been tricked! It's all your fault, you gruesome twosome! You're stupid! 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 <laughs> Uh, stupid fat check and in chief, I want to report a war. Oh, no. This is too much. What did I ever do to deserve this? I've tried to be a bad witch. I've tried to do evil unto others. I practiced my spells. Why me? Why is it always me? There's a great big rainbow waiting there At the end of the road With the answer to our every prayer At the end of the road There's a golden door and a golden key And they're waiting for both you and me All we have to do is follow the signs we see To the end of the road
sure hope so. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition met the greatest earthquake ever known. High on the rapids, it struck their tiny raft and plunged them down a thousand feet below to the land. He wanted to make it easier for us to carry things. Yeah, well, he made it too heavy. Yeah. Hey, the next time we uh, fall into a land of the lost, let's pick one that's paved. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh. Holly? Holly? Try down here. How'd you get down there? You pushed too hard. This thing needs better brakes. It needs a better engine. <laughs> its problem isn't with stopping, it's with starting. Now, come on. Dad wants us to be home on time for once. <sighs> OK, but this time you pull and I'll push. <sighs> well, come on, give me a little help, will you? What's that? Oh, now what have you found? Uh, it's just a big old green rock. Now, come on, help. OK, now, one, two, three, push! Oh, Holly. Holly? Holly! Gotcha! Oh. Hey, will you stop playing games? Come on around this side. Look at this. Hey, it's an egg. What was in it, a house? It must be a dinosaur egg. Looks freshly hatched. What kind of dinosaur do you think? Big. Hey, look, I think we'd better get out of here. It might still be around, and uh, it's probably hungry. Uh -huh. Come on, Come on. <laughs> quick. <laughs> You know, Dad says it's because of the ground. I wonder if we'll grow big if we live here long enough. Oh, I sure hope we don't have to find out. Come yeah. On. Well, let's pick some. Yeah. You guys can't have any. I don't think they wanted any. Trinodons don't eat berries. They eat animals. And people. That's what I mean. They can't have any. Why are the dinosaurs here anyways? Well, you know, Dad thinks it's because we fall into another universe. There are things from all of time and space here. <laughs> it really is a land of the lost. Did you think we'll find our last toys? You know, I lost the doll once. Hey, listen. What? Shh. Maybe it's a thing from the egg. Let's not wait to find out. Come on, pull. Come on. It stopped. Yeah. It's 
That's a baby. Brontosaurus. So that's what hatched out of the egg. She's cute. He might be dangerous. Brontosaurus are vegetarians. She wouldn't eat people. They're all so clumsy, and I don't want you to go too close. He might step on you. She's probably hungry. I'm going to feed her a berry. I think she's friendly. I think she's dopey. Yeah, you may be right. Anything that looks that dopey has to be a boy. We'll call him Dopey. Hey, Dopey, want a berry? Uh, Holly, don't go too close. How could anything so cute be dangerous? Just be careful, OK? Here, Dopey, have a berry. Shut him up. Look, Will. He likes it. every dinosaur in the jungle looking for a free meal. We, we gotta do something for him. We can't just leave him. We gotta shut him up. I know. Goodness, he doesn't cry with his mouth full. <laughs> That's grumpy. He's looking for lunch. No, think of something. Well, getting dinosaurs out of trees isn't something they teach you in Boy Scouts. jungle. Well, it's not a fair law. I know, but that's the way it is. I mean, only the strongest survive, and, well, Dopey was too small and weak. Hey, come on, let's circle around and get back to the cart. Come on. I wonder if we could have trained him. He was so cute. Let's talk about something else. Hey, you know you're right. It might have been fun to have him around. Is it my imagination, or is this cart getting lighter? Seems as heavy as ever to me. No, it isn't. It? It's pulling easier. It can't be. It's full of... It's dopey! <laughs> well, 
Well, have some lunch, Dopey. He's still alive! Dopey didn't get him after all! Alive, yeah, and fat. You're mad at him. Well, he just ate our dessert. But he's so cute. How could you be mad at a face like that? It's easy. Come on, let's get back to the high bluff before he eats our cart, too. Dad. Well, this better be a good one. Oh, it is, Dad. It is. <clears throat> uh, what happened to the strawberries? Uh, well, you see, it's like this. Um... What in the world is... Dad, this is dopey. Huh? Huh? Well, where did you find it? It, uh, followed us home. We found him in the jungle. He's a brontosaur. Oh, yes, I, I can see that. Can we keep him? Where? But I could train him. Wow. Kick his legs out from under him and holler, sit? Oh, now, sure, that'd do it. Oh, please, Dad. He won't be any trouble. Um, how are you going to feed him, Holly? Oh, he'll eat anything. He'll eat everything. Can't we keep him? Can't we keep him? Listen, honey, um, I'd... I mean, you can't make a pet out of a dinosaur. Um, Dad, the, uh, problem isn't one of keeping him. The problem is, uh, how do we get rid of him? Uh, you're right, Will. A 5,000-pound dinosaur stays anywhere it wants to, even if it is still just a baby. Well, I guess it's up to Dopey whether he stays or not. Did you hear that? You can stay! with that. Your dinner's getting cold. Be right there, Dad. Have a nice night, Dopey.
wake everybody up? Would you be quiet? What's all the racket down there? What's going on down there? Uh, he got lonely? Shh, quiet. Hey, what's going on around here? Can't a guy get any sleep? He's hungry. He's always hungry. Holly, get up here fast! But Dad! Get up here now! Please don't be quiet! Get out of here! Go hide! Holly! In the cave, quick! Will, get the fly sweater. Come on! He needs another lesson in manners. I think he'll be back for a while. He's on me! Poor old baby, I'll bet you are frightened. Holly, do you understand now why we can't keep Dopey around the cave anymore? Yeah, I guess so. Grumpy just can't be trusted. And what do you think we ought to do? We'll have to find a good home for him. And uh, what kind of home would be best? A place where he'd be happy. A swamp, I guess. That's a pretty good guess. There are other brontosaurs there. Maybe even Emily might adopt him. Dopey really does belong with his own kind, you know. And it would be unfair to keep him around here where he's in constant danger. Okay, Dad. I guess we can take him now. No. I think we can have breakfast first. You know, it was really great how you taught Dopey to pull the cart. Oh, he'll pull anything as long as there's enough food. I'll tell you what, Holly. Anytime that you want to visit Dopey, you can go on down to the swamp, okay? Cheer up, honey. Dopey will be much happier there, really. <laughs> yeah, so will I. Hey. Um, hey, I'm sorry. You don't like him, and you never have. Ah, he's okay. And as a matter of fact, he's kind of a cute little fella for a brontosaurus. See, I told you you didn't like him. Oh, Holly, it's not that. It's just... Well, I was kind of looking forward to those berries. I know what you mean. They taste just like the ones we used to have in our backyard at home. Oh, yeah. Hey, remember that time we made that homemade ice cream and went out and picked the berries out of the patch and put them on the ice cream? Mm. <sighs> well... Hmm? We're never going to get home, are we? I don't know. You know, I used to think this was all just a bad dream. But I just don't know now. Well, looks like maybe we're going to be seeing a lot of dopey after all. Will you really come and visit him with me? 
Yeah, anytime you want to. Thanks, Will. Will he be safe from Grumpy in the swamp? Oh, I think he'll be okay, honey. Grumpy doesn't seem to like the water very much. Well, that's because there aren't any lifeguards. There's Emily now. She sure is big. Well, that's what Dopey's gonna look like someday. Wow. Well, I don't want to wait around for it. You have to go now. It's better for you, okay? Go on. Go on. Well, go on! I don't want you anymore! Go with the old brontosaurus! Go on! Get out of here! I don't want you anymore! Just Come eat our card anytime he wants to. Is the riding okay? Can you see out okay? Just fine, thanks. Good. We'll give you a tour of the neighborhood. Uh oh, here comes Fluffy. He must smell Sigmund. That could be trouble. Get her away from there. Fluffy, get out. Over there, Fluffy. Shoot. Fluffy! Wait, hold me in. Wait. Get out of here. Come on, Fluffy. Fluffy. Get out. Here, Fluffy. Get out of here. Peggy. Breeze! Oh. Come on, get out of here. Get hey, out. what are you doing get to my dog? Get, get your hands off her. What are we doing to your dog? Look what she did to our pal. I mean, pile. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a valuable marine specimen of aquatic non-vascular stonewort. Why don't you keep your dog tied up? 
Yeah, he's a menace. John Stewart, don't you talk to me about a menace with all that icky sea junk you two are always collecting. Come on. Now you're going to have to take a bath. Oh, I'd love to see Zelda's face when you come home with that mess. Come on. Oh, women. Never mind her. How many? Quick. Hold it. Hold it. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold everything. Wait. I want to get one more look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, that Peggy sure is. Peggy? Not her. The gorgeous hairy one with the four legs. Wowie! <laughs> you mean fluffy? What a dish. Oh! Come on, we better get you back in and yeah. get you home before someone else gets you and gets in trouble. Right. Well, it's about time. Where have you boys been? Wait, stop! Footprints. Sorry, Zelda. What'd you want us for? Well, not to give you the good housekeeping award. About your room. Are you boys planning a rummy sale? Well, don't worry, Zelda. We'll get it cleaned up. Scout summer. Yeah, right after Little League. Yeah, Little League. Instead of teaching you hitting and running, you ought to teach you scrubbing and mopping. Oh, where have they been? A tar pit? Hey, Sigmund, you got to take off for baseball practice now. Better lie low, because Zelda's on the war path. What are you writing? Oh, just a little poem. A poem? To who? To Fluffy. I think I'm in love with her. You think you're in love? I never saw anyone so soft and curly and lovely and sweet. There, that's it. That's what? Kelp is red, codfish are blue, jellyfish are sweet, and so are you. <laughs> Do you think she'll like it? Do you think she will, huh? Sigmund, I think we better have a little talk. Yeah, I like the one Dad's always promising to have but never does. <laughs> a little talk? What kind of talk? Well, let's put it this way, Sigmund. You're a sea monster, right? I sure am. And Fluffy's a dog. Oh. And, well, it just wouldn't work out between the two of you. Why not? Don't you think she'll like the poem? No, no. Dogs can't even read. Oh, the poor thing. Don't they have schools like the fish do? Sigmund, we'll talk to you later. We gotta take off. Stay out of sight. Yeah, and take a cold shower if you have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kelp are red, codfish are blue, jellyfish are sweet, and so are you. I bet she'd have loved that. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's Fluffy. I'm coming, Fluffy. I'm coming. Oh. oh open the door. Hi. It's well of you to come see me. Would you believe I was just thinking about you? Oh, you poor thing. You can't talk. Oh, well, who needs to talk? Oh. Wow, we sure needed that practice. No kidding. By the way, that catch you made sure was the sweetest. <laughs> oh, no, she's the sweetest. Fluffy. <laughs> What's Fluffy doing here? She came to visit me. She brought me a present. Fluffy brought you a bone? Yeah. Does that mean we're engaged? I still see it, but I still can't believe it. I can't wait to tell my biology teacher about this one. Fluffy! <laughs> it's Peggy, and it sounds like she's coming this way. We better get you out of here. Come on, Fluffy. Hey, easy there. Easy with my fiance. Cool it, Sigmund. If, if Peggy sees you, you're a goner. Yeah, so clam up. Come on, Scott. Yeah. Huh? Clam up? What do you mean by that? Some of my best friends are clam. Fluffy, what's gotten into you? And what is she doing in your yard? I think you're doing something to, to lure her over here. Honest, Peggy, or not? Well, I still think something fishy's going on. Come on, Fluffy. Now I'm gonna have to fill that nasty old hole she dug. Well, I'll do that for you, Peggy. 
Oh, brother, you're getting in as bad as trouble as Sigmund. <laughs> now, what kind of a crack was that? I was just trying to keep the peace. Fluffy, my love, oh. A demon, ain't she a dog? Yeah, what? Well, well, you know it. Mm, sure was hot stuff in her last movie, The She Creature Eats the Banana Monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but my favorite was Living It Up in the Dead Sea. <laughs> <laughs> she looks lonesome here. I'm gonna hang her in my room. Hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. Oh, no. Uh-uh, no. It's Sigmund's picture. Oh, you dummy. He ain't here no more. Well, no, give it to me now. Give it to me. I got no chance, boss. No, no, I'm taking it. Don't, 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 don't no, I want it. It's now. mine. I tell you, it's mine. Give it to me. It's, it's mine. I saw it first. Oh, stifle yourselves. Can't you see I'm trying to relax and smoke my sturgeon? Oh, <laughs> get your hands off Diana. She's mine. Big deal. Take it, then. la di da di da di da A movie star. Hi there, fans. I'm gorgeous. You may kiss my tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> now you dig bats did it. My sturgeon went out. OK, OK, OK. What is going on? Hey. Hey. It's Diana Demon. Diana Demon, yeah, yeah. I'm delightful, delicious, and devilish. Hey, she sure is some looker. Say, ain't this Sigmund's pinup picture? Yeah, but he's never coming home, so I'm grabbing it. Hey, hey, hold it, meathead. You just gave me a brainstorm. I did? Yeah. We've been trying every which way to get Sigmund back here, and nothing's worked. Well, if darling Diana was around, he'd sure wiggle his way back here in a hurry. But she ain't here. No, but you are. Who? <laughs> Me? Hi there. Delightful, delicious, and devilish. <laughs> Hi, Zelda. We came to Rap feet, 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 feet. Japanese had the right idea. Got to get rid of those shoes. We're ready to clean our room. Yeah, who could wait? I've already done it. I do want you to go to the market for me, though. I need some soap flakes, floor wax, scouring powder, and disinfectant. That room of yours soaked it up like a giant sponge. <laughs> We're sorry, Zelda, but we said we'd clean up. Promises, promises. Go on. Track up the market. If their room looked that bad after a week, what do you suppose that clubhouse looks like after a year? Oh, I've got to get out there. <laughs> There's a limit to off limits. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Dear Fluffy, farewell to thee from Sigmund of the Sea. I'm going. Oh! This is even worse than I. Well, I never saw a low tide in a room before. <laughs> what is that? If it speaks, I'll scream. <laughs> the boys must have lost their minds. That does it. Oh, no! <laughs> the boys have brought back things from the sea before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Noisy stuff. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, my back will never be the same. That clubhouse of yours is really something. The clubhouse? You didn't go in there. It's off limits. So sue me. I got a search warrant from the sanitation department. There was something growing in the middle of the floor. Growing? In the middle of the floor? Yeah. 
What was it? I don't know. It was green and lumpy. I think I threw my back out, dumping it into the trash can. Dumping it in the trash can? Well, why are you so upset? You should thank me. Well, that was a valuable marine specimen. Yeah, of aquatic non-vascular stonewort. If it's so valuable, you don't have to worry. It's safe. The city dump has a fence around it. <laughs> The city dump. We've got to save him. Yeah. I don't get it. If he's not here, where could he have gone? I don't know. He must be wandering around town somewhere. Poor Sigmund. You better go find him. Find a place to hide. <laughs> Oops. Oh. 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 oh, you're gorgeous. Lovely, lovely. Oh, sweet mama's wig looks better on you than it does on her. Oh, <laughs> may I have the next dance, dearie? Oh, yes, oh, stop. Oh, 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 oh. It ain't nice for a brother and a sister to fight. <laughs> yeah, Diana, darling. Oh, go sit on a sword fish. <laughs> now, stifle, you two. Stifle. We got work to do. Now, here's the plan. Pick up the violins. First, you gotta catch Sigmund alone. Then, Blurp, oh. you start with the romantic music. And Slurp, huh? you turn on the charm with a one and a two. If that Sigmund falls for it, he'd have to be an awful knucklehead. Thank goodness he is. <laughs> Sigmund! 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 Man, this is like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll never track him down. Hey, track him down, that's it. We need help. Come on. Gotta run, gotta hide, gotta, ooh. Oh, oh, it's hot, hi. Oh, boy. Steep. Good girl, Fluffy. You can find Sigmund, can't you? Fluffy, these are Sigmunds. Smell them. Smell his tracks. Go, Fluffy, go. Good girl. <laughs> I just can't go on. It's the end of poor me. I'm heading for that big cave up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Either I've died and gone to heaven, or it's, it's... Fluffy, my love! Oh. Well, Johnny, guess you learned something today. Yeah, but dear Abby sure won't believe this. <laughs> come on, we better get back. It's getting late. Yeah. Well, come on, Sigmund. Come on, Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy! <laughs> 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 
Fluffy. No, I haven't, dear. Have you seen the boys? No, when I'm worried. When we got home, Fluffy wasn't in her doghouse. No, I'm worried, too. They're never late for dinner. <laughs> Fluffy! Oh, that's your boys! Quick, back the eye out. Okay. <laughs> Fluffy! Hey, Scott, where have you boys been? Hi, Peggy. And what are you doing with Fluffy? Well, I was passing by your house, and we saw Fluffy in the doghouse, and she looked like she needed to walk. So he took her. Of all the nerves. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Come on inside. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. Oh, oh. Uh, hi, you big boy. <laughs> who, who are you? Don't you recognize me, lover boy? I'm Diana Damon. <laughs> you, you're Diana Demon? Oh, oh my, my poor girl. Have you been sick? <laughs> oh, silly boy. Now come with me, darling. Let's go for a walk in the moonlight. Oh, no, no, I can't, no. I'm in love with someone else. Oh, come on. No, I can't. No, I tell you. No, I'm promised to another. Now, you let go of me. Let go. Don't do that. Let go. No, oh, I just, oh, 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 I thought you looked familiar. You're my rotten brother, Slurp. Oh, 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 come on. Don't hurt. Get, oh, we, oh. Really, Zelda? We're very sorry we're late. Yeah, and I'm sorry about Fluffy, Peggy. I don't know what's gotten into you boys lately. You've just been... Oh, 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 no, oh, Slurp, they're ganging up on us. Yeah, oh, look out. Oh, he sent for his friend. Look at him. Look, run for it. Run, it's a bomb. Yeah, it's a bomb. It's a bomb. Oh, oh. Oh. Watch out for the big one. Sigma, <laughs> what happened? Are you oh. all right? Oh, oh, Burp and Slurp tried to grab me, and Fluffy saved my life. <laughs> I'm going to marry that dog. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, there are some prowlers. Yeah, and Fluffy here drove them away. Oh, that's my baby. Sure, we can't talk you out of it. No, this is it. My big day. I'm going out there and propose to her. <laughs> oh, she beat me to it. She's going to ask me. Oh, uh, is this leap year? <laughs> oh, 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 Fluffy, Fluffy, my love. I'm coming, Fluffy. I'm coming. Oh, 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 oh Fluffy. Duffy. Oh, women! <laughs>
jolly sea. I feel fine today, just the same as yesterday. It's good to feel so free. See the sun shining in the sky. See the pretty birds flying by. Life's so delectable, lots of fun, and best of all, it's good to feel so free. Life is what you make of it. Put on a smile and laugh a bit, and you will feel so good, just the way you should. Everything is wonderful today. Nothing troubles me in any way. I don't have a care. My singing fills the air. It's good to feel so free. Mates. What a cop out. When I want you to help me with the house cleaning, you decide to go sky surfing. Well, we're sorry about that, love, but the clouds are breaking great today. Yeah, we ought to get some real groovy rides. Surf's up. Come on, let's split. Happy surfing, fellas. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things. I'm glad you're staying, Sparky. It makes me feel so much safer. You know it, baby. Nobody's gonna harm you with me around. When I'm aroused, I can be vicious. Sparky, look out! Oh. Look out! The bugaloos, the bugaloos, we're in the air and everywhere. Because you blew out all the radios in Rock City? That's pretty chintzy if you ask me. Well, nobody's asking you, dum dum. <laughs> Funky. Better see if our sound radar is still working. I'm the double. You're yeah, my leader. <laughs> Life is what you make of it. Put on a smile and laugh a bit. And you will feel so good. Who's that? The radar is pointing at Tranquility Forest. Uh, then that's the little bugaloo snip, Joy. Listen to her. Will you listen to her? 
She calls that singing. Ugh. Too bad you don't have her voice, boss boss. Yeah, she's something else. What do you mean by that trick? You sassy little twerp. I've got it. What a groovy idea. Oh, oh, thank you, you little pussycats. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks for what? Yeah, what'd we do? You just gave me the idea of the century. I'm gonna swipe Joy's voice. I'm as happy as can be As everyone around can surely see I feel fine today Just the same as yesterday It's good to feel so free It's good to feel so free Holy Miss Joy, you sing prettier than anybody in the whole wide world. Sparky, that's the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me. Sparky, you're blushing. My doggone tail light. Why can't it mind its own business? Shucks. Golly. trying to pull. Joy? 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 Where'd she go? We've been trying to tell you, dum-dum. Bonita grabbed her. A boy's picked a great time to go surfing. Red terrible. are out today. <laughs> hey, mates, we've got company. Well, ahoy there, you ho dad. We've got a flash for you. Hot off the grapevine. <laughs> What's the message? Somebody in trouble? Uh, well, uh, me. <laughs> I forgot the message. <laughs> what? Come on, you got to remember. Oh, let's see. It was something about Joy going off to a bazaar with a girl named uh, Juanita. Or was it Lolita? <laughs> That's Benita, Benita Bazaar. Joy's in trouble. Blimey, let's go. Rita, Pepita, or the Zelda? <laughs> Hurry up, you little devils. Let's get this show on the road. Stop! Let me go! What is that awful machine? Oh, it's my audio dynamic voice switcher. I'm the first kid on the block to have one. A voice switcher? What are you doing to me? Oh, didn't I tell you, love? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to steal your voice. Isn't that wild? Steal my voice? Yeah, well, don't worry, dearie. It's an honest trade. You see, I'm giving you my voice as a trade-in. <laughs> you go right after the big switcheroo <laughs> we're all set boss boss anytime you're ready bb i'm ready i'm ready <laughs> suck it to us funky <laughs> yo all my queen <laughs> power is on <laughs> Right, that's enough already. Shut it up! Shut it up! <laughs> it is all for my 
Point boss, Achtung, wake up! Speak up, boss, boss. Uh, say something. What have you boobs done to... <laughs> to... To my bewitching, enchanting voice? It worked! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! la 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 Just listen to me. I'm so adorable. Oh. What happened? Let me out of here! <laughs> I've got your voice! <laughs> Use it in good health, sweetie. tra la 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 Ah, oh, it's the sound of angels. You horrible old harpy. You can't do this to me. Give me back my voice. I can't stand this screeching young hag. Get her out. Out, 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 out. Joy was standing right over there, and they were talking, and I was over here. Now, listen, we tried to warn him. But he just wouldn't pay attention. All right, cool it. Let Sparky talk. Why don't you Joy? Where is she? Well, Benita Bashar grabbed her and took her away. Shows you what a great bodyguard I am. I don't dig. What would that old rat bag want with Joy? Well, we'd better figure a way to rescue Joy fast before she... Joy! Joy! Joy, you escaped. How'd you get away? Are we glad to see you? Can you ever forgive me? Joy, why are you crying? What did that blinking Benita do to you? Oh, it's horrible. I never want to speak again. <laughs> Why me? What happened to your voice? Crumbs, you sound just like Benita Bazaar. I know, I know. <laughs> now, just tell us what happened. But Benita took my voice and gave me hers. She what? She has a horrible machine, a voice switcher. Oh, it was like a nightmare. Tom Mix, what a fix. And it's all my fault. I think I'll stick my tail light in a bucket of water and short circuit myself. <laughs> Where's the water? Where's the water? No, cut that out, mate. We've all got to pitch in if we want to get Joy's voice back. Do you think you can? You're really going to get my voice back? I won't have to talk this way for the rest of my life? Oh, that's the most exciting, thrilling, wonderful, my... Sorry, love, but our eardrums can take just so much. <laughs> Come on, now. Here's what we have to do. Well, sugars, the golden throat is ready to record a first golden record. Oh, Woofy Angel, go up to the control room and do your thing. Why me? Yeah, why him? That's Funky Rat's job. Because Funk is outside doing guard duty, you dummies. He's gonna blast those bugloo brats if they come snooping around. So move, move. It's time to groove. <laughs> Uh, she may sound adorable, but on the inside, she's still a rotten lady. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. If I'm a gourmet. Se 
Everyone around can surely see I feel fine today Just the same as yesterday It's good to feel so free See the sun shining in the sky Ow! Oh, pulled <laughs> back on you dimwits oh, i didn't do it boss boss the power went off hey maybe you forgot to pay the light bill <laughs> i paid the light bill you squeaky squirrel <laughs> now go get some candles hello is this the jukebox repair service well this is benita bazaar well i don't care who i sound like <laughs> send somebody over here quick First you box service. What? We'd have been here a bit sooner, but the elevator's out of order. <laughs> we'll have your pa back on in a jiffy, ma'am. Well, I hope so. I was just in the middle of a recording session. It sure bugs me hearing that old bag using Joy's voice. Hang about, she won't be using it for long. <laughs> Find the trouble, ma'am. The pa should be coming on again now. I said the pa should be coming on again now. <laughs> There you go, ma'am. That's fixed it. Oh, you little dears. You're so clever. Thank you. Thank you. And next time, try and get here a little faster, huh? You should have a lot of groovy equipment, ma'am. Anything else need checking? Say, what's this contraption? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, that's a gas. That's my audio high-frequency voice switcher. Voice switcher? How does it work? Well, I'm sorry, dolls. I haven't got much time. I... Back to my recording session, you know. How about giving us a demonstration, ma'am? Oh, but really, I... You're such a dear, my... My, so impetuous, you little dickens, you... <laughs> We're just down to curiosity, ma'am. What are these? Oh, cathode cups. You see, you clamp those on the throats of the people who are going to switch voices. You mean like this? <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I don't believe such things for being so curious, but I, I really... I must get back to my recording session. Unstrap me, please. As soon as we find out how the studio works. I know you sweet pumpkins are so curious, but don't be silly. I'm, I'm not going to switch voices with anybody. That's what you think. <laughs> Let's go, mate. The bandaloon. What, you sneaky little snips? You trick me. Unstrap me. Get me up. Let me up. Not until I get my voice back, you old Betty. <laughs> no, that's not a voice. It's a foghorn. <laughs> and I don't want it. Let me up. Now, now, this won't hurt a bit. Just sit back and relax, and we'll... Easy, does it? Mein Lieder, the strangest thing happened to me. I... Ach, du lieber! What is going on? Blast them, funky. It's a bugaloos. Get them. Get them. Jawohl, mein Lieder. Shut up already. And blast them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice going, Sparky. Now, where were we? You don't play fair. You play dirty. Quiet, please. You're straining my voice. Let's go, IQ. <laughs> Hurry up, IQ, please. I think I have it turned on, but nothing's happening. Give up, you dummy. You'll never guess how to work it. <laughs> Let me up here. Help! Help! It's the volume turned Have you up. tried that switch? Maybe it isn't warmed up. It's got to work. It's just got to. Maybe those throat clamps aren't hooked up properly. Let's check the wires. Hey, it wasn't plugged in yet. Sparky, wait! <laughs> She went crazy. Joy, fellas, are you all right? I guess so, but I'm a little shook up. <laughs> I mean, he's got Benita's voice. And I've got his. <laughs> it says you're right, you little snip. Yeah. <laughs> My beautiful voice. It's gold. Don't look now, but I think we've got a problem. <laughs> Oh, it's good to have my voice back again. Yeah, on me it didn't look so good. Blimey. I thought we'd never get that mess straightened out. Well, we all learned a lesson. You never appreciate what you've got until you lose it. Well, I sure appreciate the voice I've got. Oh, no! Blimey, he's got Benita's voice. Well, here we go again. Back to Benita's voice, Switcher. Well, do something. Help! I can't go on like this. Help! 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 I want my voice back! Help! Help! The bugaloos, the bugaloos.
bugger loose We're in the air and everywhere Flying high, flying loose Flying free as a summer breeze The bugger loose, the bugger loose We're climbing high and diving low Through the sky, across the land Straight to you with a helping hand Ready with a helping hand Friends indeed, should you need, if you ever need The Buggaloos, the Buggaloos We're in the air and everywhere Flying high, flying loose Don't flying forget free. to write We love to hear from you The Buggaloos, the Buggaloos Climbing high and flying free Don't get left behind Take a trip with us today We will lead you to a land of dreams Broadcast some super shows They will blow your mind away When you join us, you'll know why we say find themselves lost in a real ghost town, they need Wonderbug's help. <laughs> then the evil Dr. Shrinker sends his chimp Boris to capture BJ. The boys try to help her escape, but will they make it in time? trick him before he pulls the crime at a century. Wait, Dana girl. This could be the trap we've been expecting. Then the lost saucer is trapped in a time warp and forced into the future. The whole Croft Super Show, including Captain Cool and the Kangs, is coming up. All right, Kangs. I've put you through your basic training in the art of ice skating. Now we are ready for the next step. <laughs> That is not the step I had in mind. Sorry, Captain, but I'll be busting must if this isn't the slipperiest ice. Oh, really? Maybe we could have him rough it up for you with some sandpaper. Oh, I sure would appreciate that. Turkey? Sorry, Captain. Hey, sure. hey, is it too much to ask to have everybody up at once? The ice is too slick, Rick. Help her up. Help her up. All right, all right, everybody cool it. <laughs> they don't need a skating coach. They need a circus trainer. <laughs> Sitting in a junkyard waiting to the ground up is a pile of cars. Looking for an old car, found a funny slap car, let's make him ours. Found a magic horn, a new car was born. The toughest little toughest. Wonderbug, 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 W
Gruesome Gulch, population minus three. Certainly is gruesome. You can say that again, Susan. Well. But don't. We sure must have taken a wrong turn. According to this map, we should be right smack in the middle of downtown Tucson. It looks like the middle of downtown nowhere. <laughs> Hello? 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 Is anybody there? No. I think we ought to take the Echo's word on that. Come on. There must be somebody around. Gee, Barry. I've never been in a real ghost town before. It's so... I know what you mean. It's sort of like going to school on a Sunday. <laughs> Susan, could you hold it down, please? It wasn't me. Quiet, Cece. Don't be looking at me, girl. What did he say? He said, oh, yes, it is. Do something. I've got it. Everybody push. Schlepp, we did all the work. I don't mind seeing a ghost, but I sure hate it when a ghost sees me back. A real ghost? I still think it's exciting. Susan, there's no such thing as a real ghost. Oh, come on, Barry. We just saw one. Who saw one? Us? We saw a ghost? Are you talking about that giant cowboy who appeared out of thin air? The one with the uh, glowing eyes and ghostly laugh? A ghost? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> it was a ghost, wasn't it? There's definitely something strange going on in Gruesome Gulch. I think we can all agree with that. I say it's time to do a little investigating. Right. With the help of... Wonderful! Let's get a look at Gruesome Gulch from the air. All right! Okay, Super Buddy. Better cut the engine so no one hears us. Perfect, Wonderbug. We can see the whole town from here. You see anything unusual? Nope. Just a sports car. A, a sports, sports car? <laughs> Huh. Now, what do you suppose a ghost would be doing with a sports car? He can't afford a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Come on. We'd better get a closer look. OK, 
K. Pierce, that takes care of the engine number. Yes, sir. And with a new coat of paint, no one will ever be able to trace it. We should get a lot of money for this baby. Hey, maybe we can sell it back to the guy we stole it from. <laughs> Whoever said a crime don't pay? <laughs> Oh, my gosh, they're car thieves. But they're not ghosts. Lucky those kids scared so easy. I don't think they'll be back. <laughs> well, if they show up again, we know what to do, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Do you think what I think, Barry? Yeah. I think you think I think. If they catch us, they plan to make this a real ghost town. I think I prefer ghosts. Car thieves. Yeah, let's split. Faster than fast. Split? You want to let that phony ghost get away with making fools of us? Let those crooks go on stealing cars? Forget about your duty as a law-abiding citizen? Just leave? Whoa! Do you want a separate answer for each question? Or would you settle for one big yes? Look, <laughs> just trust me. Where have we heard that before? I have a plan. <laughs> Same place we heard that before. This one is surefire. We get? Are you ready? We get John Wayne, and John then we... John Wayne? Barry, my man, that is really wacky. And then we circle the wagons. <laughs> what? Circle the wagons? Wackier than wacky. Besides, we only got one wagon. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could outghost the ghost. Hey, wait a minute. What an idea. Yeah, I kind of like it. I have what... such an idea. Believe it or not. We can actually out-ghost the ghosts. Now you're talking, Barry, my man. Hey, out-ghosting the ghosts. Let's go see what we can find in Schlepp's wardrobe trunk. <laughs> Why do I even try? Hey, fellas! Hey, now who's snooping around? Howdy! You the blacksmith? Oh, yeah, but uh, we just get ready to close up. Can't close up yet. Old Paint here threw a shoe a piece back, and we gotta get to the California Gold Rush. Davis, there's no horse here. I can hardly wait to dig me up a whole sack full of 24 karat gold rings, pilgrim. Uh -huh. California Gold Rush? That was 1849. Damn gummit, this is 1849. Land of Goshen. Don't tell me it's 1850 already. Don't talk, Davis. About 1850 in the Gold Rush. Now hold on, Pierce. Now Pierce. if you could just get a new shoe for old paint here. But, 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 there's no horse. Davis, they're ghosts. They're real ghosts. Hey, come on, Pierce. Let's get out of here. Hey, it's those kids again. They're not ghosts. Hey, you're right. They ain't ghosts. It's not yet. Yeah. Quick, Schlepp car. Our favorite tune. Low, Schlepp, low. Uh-oh. Susan's bonnet horned in on Schlepp car's horn. Everybody scatter. <laughs>
<laughs> Can't get away this time, kid. Coming down! Just leave us in here. Don't worry. We'll send the police back to get you. Yeah, you dudes should really be ashamed of yourselves. Stealing is really bad news, man. And even in a ghost town, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. Let's go, Schleck. Dragon's ho! I think you mean Schleppgar ho. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, let's move it. We've got to find the plane wreckage before that maniac, Dr. Shrinker, finds us. And let's pray the radio is still working. It's the only way we can get help. Just one question. Are you sure this is the way Tom Thumb started? <laughs> what was that? I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear that either. Darn it, 2 o'clock! Yeah! 
You know, Brad, that doesn't look like a duck. I mean, it's got a sharp... Oh, he come on! <laughs> you know, I don't believe you two he-men scared of one little old bird. Hey, turkey! Split before you end up chicken soup! <laughs> hey, that was great, sis! Are you kidding? That was the dumbest thing I ever saw. I mean, I've seen dumber a few times, but that was close. This is ludicrous! I, the greatest scientist in the world, reduced to chasing shrunken teenagers. Well, why don't you forget about them? Forget about them. Those mini brats are the only human proof that my shrinking ray works. I must have them back. Well, listen, you win a few, you lose a few. Lose, Dr. Shrinker, lose. No, Hugo, I have never lost and I will not lose now. I will get those shrinkies back and prove my machine works with three living human examples of my genius. But, uh, Dr. Shrinker, uh, they're so tiny, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, a, a bug in the jungle. A bug in the jungle? Of all the stupid, idiotic, imbecilic, wonderful ideas. Hugo, I could kiss you. <laughs> On second thought, get Boris in here. You want to kiss Boris? Just get him in here. <laughs> if anyone can find a bug in the jungle, he can. Move. Oh, <laughs> here he is, Doctor. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Boris. I have a very important job for you. I want you to find me some bugs. Human bugs. I made them that small, and they ran away into the jungle. Now I want you to find them and bring them back. All right, Boris? <laughs> now, Boris. Now, come on. <laughs> That chimp is one in a million. And that's exactly what I'll get for my machine when I have those shrinkies. A million in cash from the highest bidder. One million. <laughs> <laughs> What's keeping BJ? She's been gone a long time. I think we better go find her. <laughs> Welcome back to my humble laboratory, my dear. It's a pleasure. Look, fun is fun, but this is getting a little bit heavy. You can't leave us tiny like this. Oh, I can't, can't I? <laughs> you and your friends are going to make me millions. Billions. <laughs> it's make us billions. Us. <laughs> Here's your cage, Doctor. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a banana. Come, Hugo. Sit with me and share this beautiful sight. I'd rather stand. What? Uh, next to the radio. Oh, you mean while I call the bidders together for the auction. Excellent proposal. I thought so. Boris? <laughs> Relax, little shrinkies. In a few hours, your worries will just be beginning. 
come, Boris. Oh, go, go, go. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah. She's not around here anywhere. You think maybe that big bird carried her off? How about Dr. Shrinker? Maybe he got her. Of all the choices, that's the worst. Well, I think that makes it the best, then. Come on, let's go get our gear and head for his lab. Dr. Shrinker's lab? Oh, no. All right, fine. Stay here all alone by yourself, then. Brad? Brad? <laughs> Brad, I was only joking! Brad! Maybe if we call, she can hear us. Swell. And if Dr. Shrinker's around, he'll hear us, too. Brad! Gordy, up here! It's BJ. BJ, where are you? I'm up here. I mean, use your eyes for once, brother dear. Hang on, BJ. We're coming to get you. Come on. Stand back, Gordy. Here's where the summer I spent mountain climbing in Colorado is really going to pay off. Up you go, tiger. Wow, this is something. I never climbed a chair before. Gordy, be careful. Hurry up, will you? Now, all we do is wait for the confirmation call. I can hardly wait. What? I said that's great. That's just great. Call it. Shrinker's coming. <laughs> ah, Hugo. I'm not getting any younger. All those steps, that chasing around in the jungle. <gasps> How did this fish hook get on my chair? It's them. The other two shrinkies. I'll get them, Doctor. Hugo. I'll get them. <laughs> Ah, uh, now my bidders can have three shrinkies for the price of one. His bidders? Don't worry, BJ. We came here to rescue you. Gordy, this is no time for family jokes. Although I've got to admit, you're the biggest joke our family ever had. Come on, BJ. Cool it. Yeah, we're not going to let that creepy doctor push us around. Gordy. <laughs> uh, hi there. Oh, creepy doctor, am I? We'll see what sweet nothings you dream up for your new owners. Hold it, big stuff. What's all this about owning? People don't own people anymore. Oh, that's where you're wrong, my dear. In a very short time, people will own people again. They will own you. <laughs> And believe me, you'll do exactly as they say. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like uh, being left in the bank at night so you can turn off the alarm when your new owners arrive. <laughs> or you, you go, can... please. The shrinking ray was my idea. <laughs> and that's why you made us this small? So we could rob banks? Oh. The second highest bidder gets you. The highest bidder gets the shrinking ray that made you. So when you're robbing banks or government secrets in one country, someone in another country will be shrinking them. Isn't that inventive? <laughs> Come, Hugo. Time for you to warm up the generator for the shrinking ray. <laughs> Hugo, do this. Hugo, do that. <laughs> when those buyers show up, he'll really see what Hugo can do. Hugo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, come in. You see, I told you nobody was happy in their work anymore. Well, that's Hugo's problem. Mine is to find a way to get us out. Good luck. And this rope is just what I need. Watch. Now let's pull. Once more. It's not working. 
And now, my little friends, to warm up the generator for our little demonstration. <laughs> now what do we do? I don't know. Well, I do. Look. <laughs> Stand back and watch a woman do her thing. Boris! Boris, come here! Come on! Come here, Boris. Boris, come here! Okay, Boris, now pull on it! Pull on it, Boris! No, don't play with it, pull on it! Like this! Boris, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to wait in your room. Boris? Boris, I told you to wait in your room. No, no, Boris, you go. Stop, Boris. Boris, you're doing the wrong. That's the negative on a positive. Not the blue, it's the negative on a positive. No, 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 not the Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, BJ, you first. Be careful. Boris, go to your room, Boris. I told you to go to your room. Boris. Boris, I'm going on my machine. Get away from my machine. He's activated. Oh. Machine! He's ruined my beautiful machine! Not to mention a million dollars. My machine! Oh, oh. oh, back to the drawing board. Oh, my beautiful machine! <laughs> what will I do? My machine! Well, we made it. Yeah, we sure are lucky. Hey, we're still alive, aren't we? Well... Well, look at it from my point of view, sis. <laughs> With you only six inches tall, you see you can't yell at me nearly as loud as you used to be able to. Oh, I can't, can't I? Well, you just hold still for a minute, and I'll show you what I can still do. Hey, I was just kidding, sis. Oh, you were, were you? Well, we'll see who's kidding tonight when we have fried bananas, and tomorrow night when we have baked bananas, and the next night when we have toast bananas, and the next night when we throw pink face for you. Here's your new motorcycle. Here's your bike, Ike. This is my new sickle? Yeah, it's a do-it-your-motorcycle. It's a what? It's a do-it-yourself motorcycle. That's more like it. Well, looks like we all get to work together. Oh, I just remembered something. Oh, I got a dentist appointment. Right? Right. Wrong. Right. All right, guys, we all build on three. One, two, build. Here. That down there does not look like the picture of the sickle here. Well, why don't you give it a T R Y? Try!
maximum security prison houses only the most diabolical criminals in our society, such as this man. You may tell your warden that these bars are useless. No cell has been built that can hold. The sorcerer. And now to make my escape and exact my revenge against those two who put me here, Electro Woman and Dinah Girl. <laughs> 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 You didn't have anything to do with us getting this assignment, did you? Who, me? You think I'd ask Newsmaker Magazine to let us interview Colorado Johnson, Mr. Country Rock himself? Ooh. No, of course not. You wouldn't do that, would you? No. <laughs> the Electricomps. Frank's trying to reach us. We better get away from this crowd. It's okay, we're not being observed. You can bring him in now. What's up, Frank? Trouble. Crime Scope has picked up on something big. And you need Electra Woman and Dinah Girl. And fast. We're heading back to Electra Base immediately. Hey, what about Colorado Johnson? Sorry. Hey, he's coming out right now. Tell me, where are your manners? Oh, Wave goodbye. Again? Oh, Frank. <laughs> Do you think we'll ever see Colorado Johnson? Judy, I've got a feeling we're going to have our chance. Activate Electra Change. <laughs> I'm sorry to take you away from your magazine assignment. It wasn't just another assignment, Frank. It was Colorado Johnson. Oh, what's Crime Skull picked up on? Hmm? Oh, the, the, the sorcerer. He's escaped. Oh. So, the sorcerer's up to his old tricks again, huh? Yes, isn't he always? And it's up to Electra Woman and Dinah Girl to put him back in jail. That's right. Well, where do we start looking? How do we find him? Huh? Oh, the Crime Skull. What is it, Frank? Someone's trying to break through our communication system on our secret frequency. <laughs> Electro Woman, it's the sorcerer. Greetings, ladies. And of course, my dear Frank. By now, I'm certain you've learned of my escape. Well, if you weren't happy there, I'm sure we could have arranged a cell with a view. Please, Electro Woman, I've no time for idle chit chat. I have an important announcement to make. <laughs> Sorcerer. Patience. Patience, Dinah girl. It isn't every day I have a chance to announce my plans to steal all the gold from Fort Knox. What? You'll never get away with it, Sorcerer. <laughs> Try and stop me. <laughs> all the gold in Fort Knox. Electra Woman, can he do it? Gosh, Sorcerer, can you really do it? There is nothing I cannot do, Miss Dazzle. But this will ensure my success. You're gonna put all the gold from Fort Knox in that little bitty box? No, Miss Dazzle. The mirror, please. This will be the mirror trick to end all mirror tricks. But first, I must get rid of those two interfering voltage vixens. Huh? Electro Woman and Dinah Girl. And as usual, I have a plan. <laughs> the 
Uh, now, you simply must take me seriously. The, the sorcerer intends to steal all of the gold with it. Hello. Hello. They've hung up on me. Fort Knox? They just don't understand the sorcerer's tricks. Yes, well, we'll soon have a trick of our own. The Electra Beam. Yes, it should be ready by the end of the day. It works on the principle that something's up. The sorcerer? He's at the county museum. That figures. What better place for an escape artist? We're on our way. <laughs> If he's planning on stealing all the gold from Fort Knox, what could he possibly want from the county museum? We're about to find out, Diana Girl. What if Electra Woman and Donna Girl try to stop you? They won't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better get to the county museum before the sorcerer pulls another disappearing act. Well, my little golden puppy, you must be worth well over a million dollars. Now to put you where you'll be safe. So that I can bring this performance to a spectacular close. Rise. I command you to rise. Not so fast, sorcerer. You didn't really think you'd get away with this, did you? Wait and see. Why don't you just give up, sorcerer? That rope doesn't lead anywhere. You'd be surprised where this rope leads. <laughs> It's a trick, Dinah girl. A brilliant trick, but a trick just the same. Sensor Scan should be able to locate his escape route. <laughs> Gosh, Sorcerer, I just love that rope trick. Thank you, Miss Dazzle. But now we must be off. I'm certain my two most devoted fans are in close pursuit. <laughs> What now, Electra Woman? We'll use the electric car's tracking beam before the sorcerer's trail gets cold. Electra Woman. He's going due north. And with quite a head start. Hold on. It's real nice, Sorcerer, but I didn't know you was an art collector. I'm not. It's merely a decoy. A decoy? I thought you said it was a golden dog. Remind me to conjure up some brains for you sometime. It is a decoy to lure Electra Woman and Dinah Girl into my trap. Oh, sure. A trap? Indeed, I have an illusion planned to mystify and amaze our computerized combo before I pull the plug on the biggest trick in the history of magic. Fort Knox, right? <laughs> <laughs> the tracking beam is really coming in, Electra Woman. The sorcerer left a good, strong trail for us to follow. That doesn't sound like our sorcerer. The electrocomps. Yes, Frank? I've been monitoring your progress on CrimeScope. And I feel that I should warn you that you could be walking right into the sorcerer's trap. Well, we appreciate your concern, Heflin. But I'm sure that we can handle anything the sorcerer can come up with. Yes, well, you just be careful. Aren't we always? If this is a trap. We'll just see who gets caught in it. Electra Woman, the golden dog! Wait, Dinah Girl. This could be the trap we've been expecting. Right! Okay.
<laughs> I can see you're not accustomed to being in the spotlight. Very impressive, sorcerer. But then you always put on a good show. Very kind of you, Electra Woman. But I've decided to let you two be the performers. And to that end, I've prepared a very special act for you. Perhaps you'd like to see your first prop. <laughs> and perhaps you'd like to see us electroforce our way out of it. Oh, no doubt you can guess what has happened. This cavern is deep in the heart of the Earth itself. Your precious crime scope can't reach you here. You are, shall we say, powerless. So it seems you have the upper hand for the moment. For a very long moment. You haven't seen your second and most important prop. The reason whereby I have named your act. <laughs> Electra Woman and Dina Girl meet the man-eating tiger. Isn't this fun? <laughs> 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 Electro, wow! Lucky he's only a man-eating tiger. There is one more little touch I had in mind. <laughs> in a matter of minutes, the door will rise, releasing the tiger. I have defeated you, Electra Woman and Dinah Girl. Finally. <laughs> Ain't he ingenious? <laughs> Come, Miss Dazzle. Oh, by the way, I've left the keys to the cage for you. Here. Maybe you can get them if the tiger doesn't get you first. <laughs> he seems to have thought of everything. Steel cage, a man-eating tiger, keys out of reach, and no electric power. And now he's on his way to Fort Knox. What an Electra mess. How will our heroines escape this perilous trap the sorcerer has set? Tune in next week. We can cool it now. You mean it's a TT for take 10? Yeah. Well, you know, these rehearsals always make me hungry. I'm accepting volunteers to go downstairs and get me a hot dog. <laughs> Attaboy, turkey. How come I'm always so lucky? Hot dog? <laughs> Thanks. <you>. Mustard? <laughs> Hot dog with mustard. Thanks, turkey. Onion? <laughs> hey. Relish? Hey. Ketchup? <laughs> Thanks, turkey. Yeah. All right. Mm. Fantastic, turkey. You really thought of everything this time. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Napkin? <laughs>
Vortex spin completed. We've gone through the time warp. Fantastic! Where are we? And when are we? Oh, I don't know. Our urometer shorted out. But we'll soon find out. We're going down, and this time I'll program it. Stand by. Hatch open. What? Well, here we are, kid. Oh, no. The Sheridan of Chicago. We've traveled into the future. Right on. Love that goofed up time machine. Look at it out there. Come on, Alice. Let's go. Hold it, Tiger. Uh, what year do you suppose we're in? I mean, are we very far from the 70s? Well, from the looks of that urban complex out there, I'd say we're uh, only a few centuries off. <laughs> only a few centuries off? His mom and dad are gonna kill me. <laughs> is it okay if we go out there and meet those folks on our house? Is it? Uh, is it? You kids can go, but we have to stay here and work on the time vortex. Bum, get the repair kit, please. Have fun, kids. By the time you get back, we'll have it repaired and ready to take off. Electromagnetic beam. Wow, that is bad. <laughs> oh, that means he likes it. Come on, now. Let's go. See you later, fine father. They've got no faces. Just numbers. Well, here we are, 894. Alone at last. Oh, it's so good to be with you, 136. Away from everyone. Where could we possibly be? What year is this? Oh, it looks like, God, we're really far out. Darling. Angel. I think we better let him know we're here. Just when it's getting interesting. Okay. Hi there. Um, I wonder if you could help us. <gasps> faces! Look, they've got faces! And no numbers. How horrible. Let's get out of here. Hey, wait, wait! We want to be friends! Wait a minute! We want to be friends! Please, what year is this? Where are we? Wait! Weird. Let's get out of here. I've seen enough. Not me, Al. I gotta see what the rest of those dudes look like. <laughs> Little did I know when I got out of bed this morning. Jerry, wait! Slow down! The, um, filament is connected to the electrode. And the electrode is connected to the cathode. The cathode's connected to the grid mode. And the grid mode's connected to the laser mode. The laser mode's connected to the overload. The overload's connected to the retro mode. The retro mode's connected to the pulse mode. The pulse mode's connected to the overload. And the, the overload's connected, connected to the high load. And, load. and the high load's connected, connected to the high load. And the high load's connected to the overload. What you put around? Both of you. Now look, we've got to get this time machine fixed so we can get Alice and Jerry back home again. Yeah, they really have been gone for quite a while. I sure hope they're okay. Uh, Doris, you'd better go after the kids and keep an eye on them. Yeah, Doris, come on. Giddy up, giddy up. Sick them, sick them. Oh, oh guys, don't you don't wait. Come on. That's oh, fun. Go on. Boy. Let's go, boy. I'm stuck on a saucer with a couple of beauties. <laughs> We've all got numbers and no faces. Where can we be? What's going on? Maybe it's Halloween. <laughs> Hi there, trick or treat. Jerry. Look at them. Their faces are showing when they haven't got a number. Please, sir, do you mind telling us what year this is? And what's so terrible about not having a number? We're breaking the law. Everyone has to have a number. How else can the government keep track of you? Why are your face just covered up? Oh, they're, they're not important. They only confuse things. A number is all that matters. What? 
Oh, now you're in real trouble. Here come the 130s. The 130s? One, the 130s. One, three, oh. All right, everybody. 86, 86. You two, you're under arrest. But we didn't do anything wrong. Oh, no? What's your number? 5521521. You're lying. Oh, no, he's not. He's too young to have a low number like that. We're taking you in. You're under arrest. But you can't. What are the charges? Being out in public without a number. That's a 999. A 999? Your faces are exposed. That's a 265. How about letting us go? That's a 10 4. Tell it to the judge. 36, 22, 17. Hi. Hey, cut it out. I'm going to report you. Jerry, get his number. everybody. 86. <laughs> Court will rise and come to order. The judge is activating. <laughs> Supreme Numerical Court is now in session. Judge 672RQ3 presiding. That's the judge? 86. He looks more like... The state will present its case. Five, three. Brother, these two people have committed a very serious crime against the state. A nine, nine, nine. Well, you see, Your Honor, we're just two strangers lost in time, and we had no way of knowing that in, in your particular... Objections overruled. Order in the court. And sit down. Eleven. Eleven. What's eleven is for? I didn't eleven, did you? <laughs> Sorry, Judge. As I was saying, Your Honor, before I was so rudely interrupted, never in all my years as a district attorney. <laughs> Reassembly complete. That should do it. Good. Now we're all. Oh, 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 watch it, Bob. <gasps> you watch it. I think your finger dented my hammer. Oh, if I was only programmed to make a fist, I'd give him such a shot. Oh, what is it, Dorsey? Oh, what's wrong? What is it, Dorse? Is it the kids? Are they in trouble? Oh, you shouldn't let them go alone. Let's go find them. Come on, lock key, lock key. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, watch out for you, Don't you go first. Oh, come on, hurry. Poor kids. Yeah. Oh, my God, we're not too late. I think we better fly. You're right. Activate air jets. Let's go to full thrust. Right. Let's get there before... Wait a minute. Where are we going? I don't know. The doors. He's got to show us where the kids are. Reverse thrust. <laughs> what are you doing sitting there? Kids, yeah. Meet us to Jerry and Alice. Yeah. Come on. Giddy up, giddy up. Come on. So, in conclusion, Your Honor, the only defense these two criminals have. Criminals? I object. You can't object to your own lawyer. Oh, I can when he calls us criminals. That's a 783. 783? Okay, so I made it up, Your Honor. Okay, okay. You're listening again. As I was saying, Your Honor, their only defense is they claim ignorance of the law. But that, Your Honor, is for you to decide. Defense rests, 9-0, end of message. Donna will now consider the evidence and render his verdict. 761. 761, 761. We're ready, Your Honor. Here come the judge. Court finds the defendants guilty. Oh, guilty? Oh, oh, no. no. I'm sorry. 
for you. You'll have to run for it. Back to the saucer. No, boy, go. Run. Oh, 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 oh. Go, quick. Here, come on, baby. Here we go. Shaken. Well, that's one place I was sure glad to leave. Isn't it awful when numbers can become more important than people? Yeah, it's almost that way back home. All right, we've got phone numbers, street numbers, apartment numbers, house numbers, zip codes, area codes, license numbers, registration numbers, bank card numbers, credit card numbers, social security numbers. We are loaded. Well, let's just hope we don't get carried away with it the way they did down there. I'll 17 to that. Well, maybe we better start heading for home now. I'm Jerry, fly me. Super chick. Well, I was practicing my magic act and I did the floating assistant trick. <laughs> It'll work. Yeah, real slick trick, chick. So? So now she can't get me down, Captain. And I'm getting madder than a chicken trying to lay an egg on a cactus plant. Super chick's looking for something to help now, Nashville. Hold on. Oh, howdy. Hold on to what? Here we go. Zippity zap. What's this? W.T. Wrong track. Yeah, here's the trick you're looking for right here. Turkey, reach for your drumsticks. Yeah, reach for your drumsticks. <laughs> Topple sizzle. Well, it's about time. Where's Captain? I'll give you guys exactly one minute to get me down. <laughs> Hey, kids, this is your captain. Join me and all the Kongs for another Fantastic Croft Super Show next week. Don't get left behind. Take a trip with us today. We will lead you to a land of dreams. Croft has some super shows. They will blow your mind.
do a little cause you can't do enough. Once upon a summer time, just a dream from yesterday, a boy in this magic golden flute heard a boat from off the bay. Come and play with me, Jimmy, come and play with me, and I will take you on a trip far across the sea. Who had in mind the flute to snitch From her broom broom in the sky She watched her plans materialize She waved her wand The beautiful boat was gone The skies grew dark The sea grew rough The boat sailed on and on and on and on and on and on, and on. But Puff and Stuff was watching too And knew exactly what to do He saw the witch's boat attack And as the boy was fighting back he called his rescue racer crew as often they'd rehearsed and off to save the boy they flew. But who would get there first? But now the boy had washed ashore, Puff arrived to save the day, which made the witch so mad and sore, she shook her fist and screamed away. H.R. Puff and Stuff, who's your friend when things get rough? Hear ye, hear ye. As mayor of Livin' Island, I invite you all to participate in a kite flying contest. Hooray! 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 And here is the man who organized this contest. The man who will give away 100 gold buttons as grand prize. Our very generous friend, Mr. Ludacrus Lion. Hooray! 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 Thank you, thank you, Hooray! my good folks. Your magnificent mayor's right. I'm giving 100 gold buttons to the one whose kite flies the highest. Hooray! Hooray! Say, ludicrous, how come you're so generous? Because I'm a soft-hearted pussycat. Meow, meow. <laughs> hurry, hurry, step right up, folks, hurry. Get your kites while they're hot. They're going fast, so hurry, hurry. I just happen to have on hand a complete supply of kite strings, kite struts, kite papers, kite ribbons, kite tails, everything for flying kites except the wind. I'd say you've got plenty of that, too. <laughs> oh, 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 that was a good one. Bless your round little body. All right, folks, step right up. Get your buttons ready. I'd like a pretty one. I'd like one, too. Get your kites, folks. Gosh, Jimmy, I sure wish I were big enough to fly a kite. Let's ask Puff and stuff if we can buy one. We can fly it together. Easy does it, folks. Enough for everybody. Let's go, horsey. I'm going as fast as I can. Where's mine? Where's mine? Go away from me, boys. You bother me. Let's go, folks. Hi, boys. Isn't this exciting? This contest sure sounds like fun. I've always wanted to fly a big box kite. Me too. Puff, do you think we could enter? Why not? You two boys are entitled to a little fun. Wait a minute. I just got a king-size idea. Jimmy, come closer. Tell you what. We'll build a big, super strong box kite for you and Freddy. You mean we can fly it? No. Instead of flying it, you'll fly in it. Don't you see? We'll pretend to make the kite for the contest so the witch won't become suspicious. Then we'll put you in it and the winds will blow you home. How's that? Terrific! That way we'll really fool the witch. And sail home on a kite? Wow! <laughs> Thanks, Bling and Clang. Now go get Dr. Blinky and tell him we need him to help us build the kite. On your way. <laughs> Bling and Clang are sure excited. Well, the sooner we get the box kite built, the sooner we'll be on our way. That's a fact. Come on, let's go to work. Right. And while you work, I'll whistle. <laughs> <laughs> you whistle all right, my fancy foot. But it will be my song you'll be playing. <laughs> Carson, Seymour, enough of that rummy, you dummies. 
What did you do that for? We weren't doing anything. Yeah, anything. Exactly. Now we've got something to do. Something nasty, evil, and rotten. Ooh, how marvelous. That's our winky poo. <laughs> what do you have in mind, oh no good queen? Pop and Stuff is building a box kite large enough to carry Jimmy and my flute home. And do you know what I'm going to do? Ooh, something brilliant, I'm sure. Keep your feet buttoned up, you flipped out flamingo, and listen. I'm listening, Queenie. Oh, shut up. Now, they're building that kite inside Puffin Stuff's cave. Well, I'm going to get in there and wreck it. Pow! <laughs> but they'll recognize you. They'll never let you in. <laughs> That's why I'm a witch, and you're a dumb vulture. <laughs> Hello, my little darling. Excuse me, lady, but who are you? Yeah, who are you? Just call me Mother. Any questions, dummies? Mother. Mother. <laughs> This size is just right. Main thing is to make it strong enough to carry you and Freddy. <coughs> boys, boys, jump and cut past, cling and clang. Look what you did. And you were supposed to bring Dr. Blinky. Where is he? <laughs> boys, cling and clang. Now stop it this minute. That's okay, fellas. We can fix it. Look out below! <laughs> Never fear, Dr. Blinky's here. Oh, my word. What happened to your kite? Goodness, it's a mess. We had a little accident. Two little accidents. <laughs> well, your worries are over. I'll have it fixed in half a jiffy. My latest invention. My powdered stick it to em glue. Sprinkle it on and it works in an instant. Sometimes less. Here, I'll show you. Uh, oh, well, where's the kite? Oh. Will one of you young men hand me the glue, please? Gee, Dr. Blinky, I sure hope it works. It's got to work. Now, boys, stop that. Don't mess with the glue. Boys! <laughs> Thank you. Now watch. I sprinkle a little stick to em glue on the kite. We wait an instant. There. Now try and pull it apart. Uh, uh. Oh, my, oh, my. Jumping butterballs, that glue sure is strong. Strong? A herd of rhinosauruses couldn't pull it apart. Hey, then he should be strong enough to carry me and Freddy. Oh, absolutely. Hey, look at Kling and Clang. They're stuck. Golly, Ned, they got into the glue. <laughs> That's what I like about you two, Kling and Clang. You always stick together. <laughs> still don't understand your scheme, witchy-poo. Watch and learn, dummy. <laughs> this sleeping powder on this candy will knock them out cold, and then grab a reedy, the golden sleep will be mine. Mine! <laughs> Ooh, can I have that piece before you sprinkle it? <laughs> I told you this candy's for them. It's going to put them to sleep, you ding-a-ling duck. But now I'm on my way, so these luscious little bonbons can do their dirty work. Say goodbye to Mother. <laughs> what a mother. Shh! Freddy's off taking a nap. Cling and clang, go see who that is. This kite sure looks like it's in fine shape. Hello, little boy. I have some candy for your father. Is he in? Oh, not yet, my pretty. Everyone must have some. <laughs> Easy now, boys. Be careful. Good day, madam. Hello. Hello. Pardon me, sirs. Would you buy some sweets from the sweet old lady in the name of Charity? They're genuine. Campfire Granny Candies. Campfire Grannies? I never heard of them. Oh, we're a new group. A bunch of sweet lovers. 
We're the campfire grannies, we make cookies, we make candies, and our motto is down with fatigue. Though there's many years behind us, every Sunday you can find us at the Campfire Grannies Little League. So I'm asking you, dear brothers, don't forget your loving mothers at the Campfire Grannies Little League. Sorry, madam. I really wouldn't love to school. <laughs> Good boys. <laughs> and here, young man. They're delicious. Try one. <laughs> Pick them up. Oh, and one for you, cutie. No, 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 please. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a diet. Oh, come on. You're a skinny one. You'll make every gift by Granny flip her way. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, oh. Now, chew real good and tell me if that's not the best candy you ever had. <laughs> well, it is candy worth fighting over. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, did you enjoy your sweets? Mine tasted a little unusual. How did you like yours, Jimmy? Gee, Puffin stuff. I sure feel funny. Sleepy. I think I'll take a nap. Me too. I, I'm simply exhausted. <sighs> oh my! I feel so tired. My head is so heavy. I must lie down. We've been tricked. Oh. That takes care of them. I don't need the stub the skies anymore. And now to find my golden flute. <laughs> that little golden flute is here someplace. I know he is. Come on out, you little angel. <laughs> Where is it? Where is that flute? Parson! Seymour! Get in here, you dum-dums! We've got to find that flute! be here someplace. Hurry up, we must find that boot. I can't find it anywhere. I freeze them all. They're clean. Drat, they're coming awake and no poop. I must destroy this kite so they can escape. Orson, you must take the place of my wand. How do I do that? Bite the kite. But I'm not hungry. I didn't say eat it. I said bite it. Use that big fat dick of yours for something. Move. Yes, my queen of witchcraft, if you say so. Break it! Break it! <laughs> hey, witchy poo, look! They're coming too! Now they'll never escape with my flute! Come on, let's get out of here before they awake! Away we go! Follow mother! <laughs> They're gone! Let's see what happened! Jumping Jehoshaphat, we've been drugged. That little old lady must have been the witch. She was! She was! Jimmy, are you all right? Hey, okay, Freddy. Puffin stuff, look at that kite! Suffering catfish, what a mess! Dr. Blinky, you think the kite can be fixed? Do you? Jimmy, you can start saying your goodbyes and so long. The kite will be ready at dawn. Now, come on, we've got a lot of work to do. Hi, Judy. Bye, Dr. Blinky. Bye, Cling. Bye, Cling. Goodbye, Cling and Clang. I'll never forget you. Come on, Jimmy. Get on the kite. Time to go. Hurry before the witch wakes up. Gosh, I don't know what to say. You've been such a good friend to me. Gee willikers, Jimmy. Just say goodbye. Hurry. 
Goodbye, Pop and Stop. I'll sure miss you. Bye-bye. Bye, Jack. You're such nice boys. Here's something to eat on your trip. All right. Back, everybody. Back. Here we go. Ready, Jimmy? Ready. All right, Jimmy boy. Up you go. Up, up, and away. Goodbye, Puff and Stuff. Bye, Dr. Blinky. Bye, Cling and Clang. Bye, everybody. Witchiness, get up, get up. Jimmy and the flute are taking off. Who? What? What's going on? Get up, get up. They're escaping. Escaping? At this hour? How dare they? They don't play fair. Oh, get the hoop. Jimmy and Freddy are finally on their way. Look at them go. Isn't it great, Freddy? We're going home. Yeah. Oh, boy. But I'm sure going to miss Living Island. Jimmy, look! Gosh almighty! It's the witch on her vroom vroom! There they are! I'm going to force them to fly over my castle and then zap! The golden flute will be mine. <laughs> Hold on to your feathers. Here we go. She's coming off us. I'm scared. I'll hide you. Oh, oh Jimmy's in trouble. Oh, we need help. <laughs> Try to escape from me, will ya? <laughs> West Wind, West Wind, help, help us, help. We hear ya, partner. We'll huff and we'll puff and we'll blow Jimmy home. Hurry, wind! Blow! Please blow! Fox kite at three o'clock! Bombs away! Wait, dirty, eh? She's busting up the kite. Blow, wind! Blow! It won't do any good, partner. The kite's broken. It's gonna crash. Quick! Get us down! Quick! There's only one thing to do. Pull him down. Come on, everybody. Grab the string. Hurry! Now pull! Pull! They're pulling him down! Hold on while I give this jet to love me the gas! Shall do. What happened? Where's the wheel? I have. You said to take the wheel. I said take the wheel, not take the wheel. Give me that, you dummy. I can't get it back. We're going out of control. Help! He made it. He made it. Jimmy saved. Jimmy, you scared me right out of my boots. Look, the boom broom, it's going down. They're gonna crash. Hey! 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 Jimmy is safe. 
Pete. <laughs> Those goody two shoes, they did it to me again. <laughs> Wait till I get my strength back. <laughs> Is uh, anybody thirsty? Uh-oh. I am. Good, good. So am I. Be careful on your way down to the water hole. I knew there was a catch. No, there's two catches, Will. You're going with her. I can take care of myself. Of course you can, honey. But remember, this is still a dangerous place, OK? Here, I'll take them. Daddy gave them to me. Okay. Hey, let's take the shortcut. Hey, we've never come this way before for water. I told you, it's a shortcut. You probably just want to go exploring again. Daddy won't let you unless we all go. Maybe so, but it's still on the way. Let's get out of here. Wow. Looks like an ancient temple. I wonder who built it. I hope they're friendly. Or at least on vacation. Doesn't look inhabited. Look at that! Come here, dog! Wow, that's a big Allosaurus. Boy or girl? Huh? Why? I want to know if we should name it Big Al or Big Alice.
let's not get close enough to find out. Hey, come on, Dad's gonna wanna know about this. But don't you wanna try going inside? There may be a whole city. Well, sure, but I gotta watch out for you, and it might be dangerous. Yeah, it is kind of scary, isn't it? I'm not scared. Well, come on. This is close enough. We can signal Dad from here. What are you sending? If you'd practice more, you wouldn't have to ask. I'm telling him about the lost city, of course. He said be careful, didn't he? Hey, I thought you couldn't read Morse code. I can't, but I can read Daddy. What else did he say? He said he'd meet us. Do we wait here? Uh, no, we're supposed to get the water first, and then he'd meet us at the crevasse. Mm, will you carry these for a while? Dad gave them to you. I'll carry them on the way back. Okay, then they'll be heavier with water. <sighs> Last time you heard something, we found a monkey man. He was a Paku. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at the footprints. This is funny sand. Dad says it's red because it's oxidizing. Uh, that means it's rusting. I know what it means. But who ever heard of rusty sand? These footprints must be fish. They haven't started to fade yet. Hey, they look like Pakuni prints. Maybe it's Chaka. Yeah, maybe it's Robinson Crusoe. You know, I don't think we're going to see Chuck again. Let's follow them and see. Now, wait a minute. It could be dangerous. Well, be careful. I'm supposed to watch out for you. Well, then, what do we do? What we... Well, I mean... You go that way. Well, it's the only way. <laughs> Who's joined them? Now they're two humans. You know, in fact, these humans wear the same size shoe. Gone in a circle. There's no second Paku. We, we've been following the same tracks. You're wrong, Will. These tracks weren't here before. They're beside the other ones. Come on, let's go. Now, Holly. Run. <laughs> They were fresh. And now there are three sets of Pakuni tracks. Hey, we'd better stop before we're outnumbered. Yeah. Hey, come on, quick. It's Chaka! Hey, Chaka! Come on. Quick, behind me! 
Hey, you okay? Yeah, what about you? Yeah. You know, filling this place with dinosaurs is sure one heck of a way to run a jungle. Yeah, and they don't even run on <sighs> schedule. Phew. Ah, well, hello, Chaka. I guess he's more afraid of those dinosaurs than of us. <sighs> Friend? Warren. That's close enough. Come on, shake. I guess that's one trick you're never gonna teach him. Yeah. Look, he's still wearing the splint Daddy put on him. I guess he couldn't get it off. You know, Dad's pretty good at those things. Uh -huh. Hey, I'll take it off for him. His legs gotta be well by now. Yeah. Hey, it's okay no, no, now. Easy, easy Chuck. Easy. easy. I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? Friend. Huh? Friend. Easy, easy. Osu. Osu. Is that water? Yeah, I think he means water. Here, I'll give him some. Hey, you keep him busy. Huh? Yeah, I know what you mean. Osu. What the? Osu. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't give him too much. That's all we got left. Okay, here. Ah, there you go, Chaka. You're as good as new. <laughs> Come on, Holly, let's go. Yeah. But what about him? Well, I guess he's gonna have to find his own way back. Uh, go on, Chaka. Go home. Okay, let's ignore him. I mean, I'm sure he can find his own way. Yeah. Come on, let's go find Dan. Okay, come on. I probably went on a cross. Come on. Come on, Holly. I'm coming. You may be, but I'm not. Then where are we? I don't know. Oh, I thought so. Well, I know where we are. I just don't know where everything else is. Hey, Will, look at this. I wonder who wrote it. Maybe there's somebody else here. Could be. Beware of Sleestack. Sarisa Taka! Hey, what's wrong with you, Chaka? Sarisa Taka! He's been muttering that for hours. Hey, do you think he could mean Sleestack? Yo, Sarisataka. See, he does mean Sleestack. Hey, well, that's the way we have to go, but... Hey, wait a minute, Chaka. Hey, Chaka! Hey, Chaka! 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 Come back, Chaka! I don't like this. Maybe we should have gone back with Chaka. But this is the quickest way. I think. Come on. Wira, hurry! Teresa Taka! Miramarashara! lost anymore. We can find our way out from here. See? Down there's where we first came in. It's spooky. I don't like it here. <sighs> yeah, I wish Dad were here. Come on, let's go find him, huh? Okay. <laughs> Tell me what it is. Don't be frightened. Come on, speak up. 
We're a... Uh, Will? We're a... Uh, Ari. Holly? Yo, Sarisa Taka. Sarisa Taka? Yo, Sarisa Taka. What's Sarisa Taka? Pisa. Pisasa. Tusa. Tusasa. Doma. Gosa. Nichi. I don't understand everything you're saying, Chuck, but obviously they're in trouble. Let's go. Will? Yeah? I'm scared. I mean, for real. Mm. No, I really am, Will. Those things are that caught us. I don't know. Hey, maybe it's a, a slee stack. Will! Oh, I'm sorry. It's awake again. Oh, hope it's not dreaming of lunch. I'm afraid it is. I still don't understand what you mean. Sarisa Taka! Beware of slee stack. Yo, Sarisa Taka! Well, what's a slee stack? Sarisa Taka! Sarisa Taka. Sure, that's easy to figure out. Come on, Chaka. Go on. Wera! Ari! Holly. What? I've been thinking. That's nice. No, no, wake up. What? Listen to me. What? Look at this. I bet we could rip this apart. And then what? There's a what's-his-name down there. Look. What are you doing? Look. If we swing what are you this. Doing? Shh. If we swing this to the edge, we could jump off. You jump. I'm not gonna jump. God, look at how far down that is. Okay, I'll jump. Okay, now wait. This is quite a place, but I... I... Yo, yo, we're the Ari! Slee stack. Uh, let's go. Come on. Ota, many Dana Ota. I'm sorry, Chucka. I don't understand. Ota, Yewo Ota. Oh, fire. Um, uh, a torch. Tocha. Torch. Okay. Chucka, lead on. Go on. Why are you in a 
hurry? No, I just want to know what it is. It smells awful. I wish we had a light so we could see what we're afraid of. Hey, you know something? What? You're being awfully brave. That's because I have no room to cry. Let's find Will and Holly first. Now calm down, Chuck. I won't let them get you. We've got to find Will and Holly first. Now come on. So that's a Slista, yeah? Whew. Come on. Will! Holly! Where are you? Back! Back! Gone! Hey, Holly, look! Look where? I think it's Dad! I uh, guess he was trying to say goodbye. Yeah, let's go home. Uh, just a moment. Haven't you uh, forgotten something? Oh, oh Dad. no! That's how we got into this. <sighs> oh. Come on. When I look all around, I can't believe the things I found. Now I need. It's the first indoor high-rise world of fantasy and family fun. The world of Sid and Marty Croft. Day or night. The year round. In downtown Atlanta, inside Omni International.
Opening May 26th. Now all the fun is indoors. Reservations. For in the middle of the summer, in the middle of a park, there began a great adventure for a boy whose name was Mark. He had come to see the magic with all the children, and twas so began the day that Mark was never to forget. He performed all sorts of miracles, and Mark was so impressed That when the time arrived to go, he lagged behind the rest Then quietly he did return the secret of the hat to learn But everyone had gone away, and darkness held a threat The moment that he touched the hat, the room began to glow And as he put it down and ran, the hat began to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow Stunned and he was fascinated Still he had to see There was something deep inside the hat What could that something be? Then cautiously each step he took He climbed upon the brim to look And all at once the hat began to shake And rock Look out! <laughs> falling, falling Into the head he fell Spinning, turning How's that for a chopper? <laughs> Let me go! No, oh, please! I didn't mean to peek into the magician's hat! Let me go! Button your lip, punk, and start walking! Where are you taking me? Who are you? Avast there! The mighty hoodoo will deal with you, you spy! Spy? I'm not a spy! I just wanted to look into the magician's hat! <laughs> Take him away! Let's have a bite together! No! Move. Stop! Let me Move. go! Get the move on! Let's go! Drag him! Come on, you! Ahoy inside! Open up! We've caught a spy! I keep telling you I'm not a spy! Shut up, spy! Open up! Where is that dummy rabbit? <laughs> well, aren't you gonna ask me how I enjoyed my trip? <laughs> sure is lucky I got a cotton tail! Hey! <laughs> Luke! Luke! Here comes the balls! You're going to get it, spy! <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful landing, boss! Right on! <laughs> Greetings, oh illustrious hoodoo! Uh, how did it go with the hat people, boss? I'll tell you how it went, dummies! It went rotten! That's how it went! Imagine the gall of those deadbeats refusing to pay their taxes to me, their beloved lord and master. Ah, they refused to pay their taxes? The hat people refused? I didn't even collect one hat check. Oh, am I going to fix their fuzzy little fedoras? They'll regret the day that they ever... <gasps> Who in haberdashery is that? He's a funny-looking weird freak we caught up at a Derby Dunes. A spy! Oh, indeed! Please, sir, you've got to believe me. I'm not a spy. I don't even know of any hat people. I live in Jackson City, and I went to see a magic show. I tried to pick into a magician's hat, and the next thing I know, I was falling through space and landed here. That's the whole truth, so help me. Oh, that's the real truth, is it, spy? Well, we'll soon find out. We'll get the real truth yet. Take it inside. Move! Get inside, my friend, and you heard it, Lars. Get on! Ooh, Please, let me go. I get it. No. Hiya, boss. Hiya, boss. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to you, dear boss. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, stop the music, hat band. Cool it. Yeah, cool it, hat band. <laughs> and now, my little espionage agent, talk. Why do those good hat people refuse to pay me their taxes? Come on, talk, talk, talk! Please, sir, you've got to believe me. I'm not a spy. I don't know any hat people. Oh, you don't, Jojo. Jake, the evil eye. Right, boss, one evil eye coming up. One evil eye coming up. Brah! Now, <laughs> tune in downtown Lidsville.
It's a whole city of hats. Yes, isn't it? And I suppose you never saw those little weirdos before. Ho, oh, oh, ho, well, I'm not buying, brat. Brat! Torture them both. Chop him up. Save half of them for me. All right, quiet, everybody. I've wasted enough time on this little pipsqueak. I'll handle him later. Come forth! Come forth! I have a task for you, oh weenie, but genie! You summon me, oh great charlatan, oh, oh wise and magnificent despot, uh. oh tyrannical and exalted Maharaj of magic, oh... Oh, shut up and stop drooling on my stack. I've got a task for you to do. A task? Uh -huh. Oh, rapture! Speak! What kind of wondrous task does my master ask of his weenie genie? Well, when you finish your gym class, you can take the prisoner down to the cellar. What? Now, just a darn minute, master. What kind of a rotten job is that to ask a genuine genie? A genuine genie, huh? I'll tell you what kind of genie you are. You're a rotten genie. And a rotten job is good enough for a rotten genie. Now jump, or I'll turn you into a teetsy fly with only one teetsy. I'm jumping! I'm jumping! <laughs> No need to get excited, oh great quack of quacks. Your humble servant gives you service with a smile. Take him below. Come on, you. Move. No. No. <laughs> and now to punish those miserable hat people. Now let me see. It's got to be something really diabolical. <laughs> Now, let me think. Get in there, you spy, and the sooner you confess, the better off you'll be. Why would anybody believe me? I'm not a spy. I'm just lost. I just want to get home. Oh, come on, kid. Things ain't all that bad. If I hadn't stayed looking at that stupid magician's hat, I wouldn't have fallen to this awful place. I'd be in the real world up there. What real world? Up there. Where I come from, where my mother is, and my house, and all my friends. You mean there really is such a place? Away from Litzville? Yes. Could you help me get there? Huh, please? Well, I'd like to, kid. <clears throat> really, I would. Anything would be better than working for that miserable tyrant hoodoo. You see how he treats me, don't you? Man, thousand elephants breathe on his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Then what's stopping you from leaving? You're a genie, aren't you? Genies can do anything. Not this genie. Hoodoo's got me so shook up, I can't do anything right anymore. Besides, as long as he's got my magic ring, he's my master. Well, then we'll just have to get your magic ring back from Hoodoo. That's all. That's all? And if you help me and we get the magic ring, I'll take you back with me. You will? I will, I promise. I think you'll be free of hoodoo forever. Well, don't you stand there like a spy! Move! <laughs> ha! I've got it. He's got it! He's got it! Brad! What do hats fear the most? Uh, say, that's a good question. Uh, wish I had a good answer. Yes. They fear bad weather. That's what they fear. Ooh, you mean like rain, snow, wind, sleet? <laughs> you betcha bowler. It scares the felt right off them. Well, on my taxes, will they? I'll show them who the boss of Lidsville is. Oh, oh. one weather bureau coming up. <laughs> Could I mess up the six o'clock news with this little dog? And now stand back, everybody. Look out, Mr. Big. Hold on to your hats. This trick can get pretty messy. I am going to conjure up a slew of weather that will have those poor bedraggled hats begging me to bail them out. And now, the great Hoojo will perform a feat of prestidigitation that is unmatched in the annals of magicdom today. No, Ronji, don't. No, no, get away from that snow drawer, you dumb bunny. 
you touched it. You ruined my trick. Oh, you stupid bunny. Wait till I get my hands. The ring, the ring. You hair brained hair. Don't you hit cotton me. picking hey. cotton tail. Come over here. Whoa, whoa. When I get you, you've seen your last no, Easter. Don't Believe go. me, who you has spoken. Oh. <laughs> We have to get away from here in a hurry. Have no fear, O noble master. I'm your genie. Your slightest wish is my command. Now get us out of here fast. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. That calls for the old getaway spell. I'll have us in a safe place before you can say... Before you can say... Gosh, what is that magic word again? What is it? Oh, you're gonna get it. This place looks like a Christmas card. Well, that's no biz. Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, hocus pocus. Oh, that's not it either. Uh, you ruined my trick. Now clean this place up. Come on, start shoveling. Yeah, but we don't have any shovel. Gosh, how about that? Now mush, you brainless rabbit, or you'll never see another carrot. Now shovel. Now to get that poor excuse for a genie in here to help me clean up. Oh, oh. My ring. My ring is gone. Somebody stole my ring. Something screwy is going on around here. Genie! Genie! Where are you, Genie? We gotta get out of here. Presto! Scramble! Genie! Open Sesame! Genie! Close Sesame! Tally ho! Sippy dippy dippy doo! Da! You have betrayed your master, Genie. Oh, the end has come for both you and the spy. Prepare to meet oh, your doom. Help! No, that's the word! Oh. Where, where are we now? Some safe place I got us to. That's the Shampoo River down there. The Shampoo River? If we fall into that, we'll be such to death. There must be somebody that can help us. Help! Please, somebody help us! Help! Oh, somebody's shouting for help! I heard them! All hands on deck! Alarm! Alarm! It's a coming from over that away. <laughs> somebody's in a mess of trouble! <laughs> Where's the party? <laughs> what is happening, Colonel Poom? Well, what do you see, pal? I say. There are a couple of strange-looking chaps hanging over the Shampoo River. This Ooh. is awful. If they fall in, they will drown. Oh, oh, we have to save them. Please do tell humble self how. That's right. How? How? There is only one way. Twirly can save them. Hurry! Twirly? <laughs> of course. He can save them. Oh, he thanks Help. Pierre de Sour. Help. Help. Oh. Emergency. Hey, hey Twirly, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. What is it? What's wrong? Hey, tell me, what's wrong? You've got to help them. Yeah, they're at the river. Hurry. Oh, hurry. You've got to help us, old boy. I'm on my way. Contact. Here I go. Up, up, and away. I can't hold on any longer. So long, kid. No, don't let go. Help. Please help us. Hold on. I'm coming to save you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm beanie hat. I don't care what it is, as long as it'll get us out of here. Help. Master Twirly's coming about. He's making his move, and he's reaching, reaching, he's got them! Good show! They're rescued! And then this brave, uh, beanie hat came and rescued us. And that's the whole story. Hey, that is the most amazing story since my last wrong way touchdown. Folks, uh, we'd like to thank you again, but right now we've got to get back to the real world. Uh, you see, um, he's taking me with him. But there is no other world outside of Ridsville. Yeah, yeah that's right. there is, I tell you. 
That's where my home is. And I've just got to try to find my way back there. Well, if you chaps insist on going, we'll give you all the help we can. Uh, supplies, uh, food, maps, lively there, ration detail on the double. Look at them, all of them. My prisoner, my genie, my ring. Well, I'm going to get them back, all of them, or else. Or else what? Or else you'll be the blue plate special tonight, Rabbit Stew! <laughs> Cut it, Dan. Please stop the music. Can't you see I'm trying to watch? Oh, look at those little lint pickers. Thanks, Colonel. Thanks, all of you. We better get moving, Master. Hootie's going to come after us for sure. We got to start hiking. You not have to hike. We get you right on the bike. <laughs> and here she comes, partners. Meet Mother Wheels. Hiya. Put a chopper in your hopper, honey. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. Let's ride now. Yak later. Hop aboard, honey. <laughs> Not me. If you want me, I'll be inside the ring, master. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for everything. Good luck. Take care Bye. of yourself. Goodbye. Look at those little creeps. They dare think that they can get away from the mighty hoodoo. Do something, boss. Do something, please. I'm too young to stew. Don't worry, I'll think of something. When I get mad, watch out. I'm mad! <laughs> get me my hat line. Your hot hat line? You heard me. Now move it. Come on, get it. I'm moving. I'm moving. Here you go. Oh, 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 oh burn skull. Shut up. Oh, oh, take it. Who do to all bad hats? Calling all bad hats. Stop, Mother Wheels. I want the boy and genie. Repeat, stop, Mother Wheels. This is a scramble. <laughs> okay, you guys, we got a contract. Let me at him. I'll eat him alive. Save the neck for me. Let us be off, Chop Chop. <laughs> Where are we now? Just passing the hair forest, honey. Figured we'd head up Bald Mountain and take a look around. Hang on. <laughs> we'll have to get your helmet, laddie boy. <laughs> find out. We better go tell Hoodoo. He'll kill us for sure. Come on, everybody. Follow me. We're following. We're following. Alarm! Alarm! What, what happened? happened? What happened? What's wrong? What what Bad hats were after us, but we got away thanks to Weenie. Oh, it was nothing. But that nasty old Hoodoo will be coming after us for sure. Bye. Well, if the varmint shows up, partner, we're going to be ready for him. Bye. <laughs> Round up your weapons, folks. Charge! <laughs> They're all alike. Stupid, ignorant, dim-witted clods. If I want anything right, I've got to do it myself. To the sky! Thank <laughs> you.
such true friends. I'd take my hat off to you, if I had one. <laughs> Everybody there wears a hat. Everybody knows where it's at. In the land of hats, that's Lidsville. You can find it on magic maps. Where the mountains wear mountain caps. Lined with welcome mats, that's Lidsville. I've seen people put on hats and then they tie or pin them. In Lidsville, there's no need for that because they live right in them. So if you bump into a bonnet with ears and eyes and nose upon it, nope, you haven't gone bats. That's Lidsville. Liddy, Liddy, Liddyville. And not to be confused with Lady Grittyville, the land of living hats. That's Lidsville. <laughs> On a very weird beach round Dead Man's Point Where there are haunted sea caves, they say And strange sea monsters have been sighted there If you're traveling in the area, beware, 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 beware Sigmund, you're a rotten sea monster You're a disgrace to the family Go out and scare a human or you're through Come on, come on now. Meanwhile, back on the beach Johnny and Scott are combing the rocks Unaware that behind them Sigmund lurks Prepared to give them a shot Boo! In total surprise The boys eye this blob What can it be? And then it groans and moves And lo, it's a monster from the sea Now Sigmund the sea monster And Johnny and Scott are friends The finest friends that ever could be On the land or on the now Sigmund, the sea monster, and Johnny and Scott are friends The finest of friends that ever could be on the land or on the sea uh, Zelda's cleaning house today, uh, do-da, do-da Zelda's keeping house today, yum pity yum pa bum bum Ow, oh, my bingo elbow oh, Clean, 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 housekeeper's work is never done Oh, clean, clean, clean. A sea monster's work is never done. <laughs> oh, suffering, swordfish. You sure gave me a scare, Johnny. Sorry, Sigmund. Well, I guess I should knock next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Scott? Oh, he went down to the beach. The beach? Mm. I just happened to mention that back home, my favorite snack was a peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. Mm. <laughs> and he takes right off to get me some jellyfish. I sure wish he hadn't. Well, if you're worrying about your brothers, forget it. 
After the scare we gave them last time, they won't be back. I hope. Me too. Blurp and slurp can be awful mean. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, sweet mama's got her nerve. Yeah, cave cleaning. What kind of a job is that for a full-grown, green-blooded American sea monster? <laughs> Stifle yourselves, you meatheads. You hurt your mother. Glee. <laughs> oh, that's it, my little sweetie pies. Busy, 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 busy. I'm off to do my shopping. There's a big sale today at Monster Basket. <laughs> now out of our way, dummy. Let Prince through. Sorry, sweet mama. And don't forget, Angels, when I get back, our nice cavey wavy is going to be cleansy weensy. Or all you'll get for dinner tonight is boiled sand. Oh, uh, don't worry, Precious. By the time you get back, this here place will be clean as a barracuda's ear. <laughs> Just love me. And you'll be a doll and take little Prince out for his walk, won't you? Oh. <laughs> of course, Pumpkin. A good lobster, Prince. Good lobster. Gosh, Mama, do we have to clean the whole cave? Uh, of course, dear heart. <laughs> this is all your fault, remember? Oh, well, our fault. Yes, Angel. Who used to do all the cave cleaning around here? Sigmund. That's right. Your darling little brother who you drove away from home. And look at that. He did a better job than the three of you put together. <laughs> I want this dump spotless. You hear? Spotless. Or else remember, boiled sand. <laughs> Bye, love. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's you. You're you're the the oh, come on, get out of here. You're a away. jerk. That's I'm what you are. Hey, hey, hold it. I just got a brainstorm. Now hold it, oh. you dingbats. Break it up. Oh, it's oh, his fault. It, it is his. It is his. That's now, wait, you close your yaps and listen. Sigmund used to do all the cleaning up in the cave, right? So? Well, all we gotta do is drag that little schnook back here and he goes back on a job, and we're off the hook, right? Wrong. We already tried to drag him back, but he wouldn't come. Yeah, those rotten human brats. They got him, and they're pretty tricky. <laughs> Will you stay out of this, Prince? Well, this here time, there'll be no follow-ups, because Big Daddy himself is coming along, and I am trickier and rottener than any human. Yeah, well, that's right, Daddy. Daddy. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Prince, okay. What's bothering you? Oh, I get it. Oh, you better come along with us. We'll make a rest stop on the way. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, let's go. Move it, move it. Oh, spineful! Not a jellyfish in sight. I'm afraid poor Sigmund's going to have to settle for just a plain seafood cocktail. <laughs> hey! What? Look, it's one of them ugly human kids that swiped Sigmund. Oh, 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 well, let's give him his lump. Yeah, let's wipe him out and then go get Sigmund. Wait a minute, you dummies. Forget the little clutch Sigmund. There's the real answer to our problem, and he's been dropped plunk right in our lap. You mean that brat out there? Uh -huh. You want to grab and make him work for us? A human servant? Golly, we'll be the first monsters on our block to have one. <laughs> okay, let's grab him. Hold it, stupid. If he sees us coming, he's liable to run for it and get away. Now, this is gonna take brains. Well, 
don't look at me. I can't spare any. <laughs> oh, you again. Hey. Hey. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Uh, Prince, <clears throat> how about if you let the brat see you, then run for it? and lure him over here, where we can get our little mitts on him. Prince, do you understand me? Oh. <laughs> Atta boy, good go. lobster. Now, go, 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 go get him, go. Prince. Come on, boy. Go on, Prince, go. Go, go, go. Sigmund have himself a banquet. <laughs> Coming with us. Yeah. A nice work, Slurp and uh, Slurp. Thanks, okay, man. let's go. Yeah. Hey, you must be Sigmund's brother and father. Well, we ain't the Partridge family. Will you wash your fright boy to our domicile? Oh, sure, Daddy. Right this way, you will. Go on, go on. Follow us. enough time. Now, get to work. Work? Right. We want this joint so clean we can eat off the floor. Is there any other way? <laughs> <laughs> sweet, buddy, sweet. Well, do you see him? Any sign of him? Anything? Hey! This is Scott's bucket. Scott's bucket? But where's Scott? What could have happened to him? Come on, Sigmund. Johnny, we're getting close to the cave entrance. We better watch out for my terrible brothers. Shh. Please, you monsters. When can I go home? <laughs> Please, can I go home when I finish? Oh, would you settle for never? <laughs> never, never. <laughs> okay, you yo-yos, cut the ball game. Let's see what's on Shellavision. Shellavision? Why, uh, yeah. sport. I think it's time for Ghoul and the Family. Uh, right on. I'll let you That's down. my come favorite on. show. Come on, come yeah, on, come on. Don't come push, on. don't push. What? Look, huh? Scott must have got into a fight with some weird things. Look at the footprints. Oh. At least I think they're footprints. Suffering seaweed. It's them. It's them. That's my big brother, Blurp. Oh, he's got 16 toes. And that's Slurp. He's got nine. And he bites them. <laughs> that means... They've got him. My mean, horrible brothers have got him. Oh, it's the end of poor Scott. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Sigmund. <laughs> We've got to find him. Let's see. Do you know a way to get into the tunnel? You know, a secret passage. But, 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 but. I know you're frightened, <laughs> but you've got to be brave for Scott. Right. For Scott. Okay. Now, if you can show me a way how to get in there without being seen, then maybe we can help Scott get away. What do you say, Sigmund? Well, count me in. After all, what are friends for? I'm proud of you, Sigmund. Let's go. Scott! Oh. 
Hey, how about it? Is that ghoul in the family a show, or isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Eating up the mailman for a finish. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, that's an old bear. What's with you? No, I'm leaving that up. Oh, I can't hey, see Brad, more. snap it up. Sweet Mama will be home soon. And if you ain't finished, she's liable to serve you for lunch. Talking about lunch? Hey, human, run in the kitchen and make me a clam and cheese sandwich. Oh, God, I'll have an abalone on rice. Never mind them yo-yos. Get me a nice, tall, cool glass of snail ale. Honey Dumble. Move. <laughs> They've made a slave out of him. Oh, they haven't changed a bit. They're as mean and rotten as ever. It looks hopeless. With all of them here, how are we ever going to be able to rescue Scott? Where's our stuff? Where's oh, our I'm stuff? thirsty, 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 oh, man. Come on. Quiet. Look what's coming on. Thank you, Scott. Now, is that a butler or is that a butler? Uh, it's the Monday Night Super Monster movie. Oh, wow, yeah, I forgot all about it. Monster oh, movie time, the monster color movie now. time. I fix that, get that. Oh, you stifle oh, it, you yo-yos. The movie is starting. Yeah, what is it? The day he met King Kong, <laughs> or Frankenstein goes a Frankenstein? Frankenstein, no. Oh, oh, oh. Our dream monster. Oh, oh. Frankie. Oh, Frankie. Oh, wow. Hey, look at him. Wow, he's the one monster I'd give anything to me. You? Why, why would Frankenstein want to waste any time with a nothing monster like you? Who's that? You're not. You can't talk to me like that. You're clam not. Clam up, clam up. The picture is starting. Well, that just gave me a fantastic idea. It's a long shot, but if it works, it's a chance to rescue Scott. What is it? Tell me, tell me. What is it? What is it? No. There's no time now. Get back. Quick, I gotta get back to town fast. Show me out of here. Phew, <gasps> <gasps> we made it. Now. You just got to tell me your idea. There's no time for that. I'll be back as soon as I can. But, 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 but... Well, just hide yourself and wait. Bye. Hi. Oh, yeah. Ooh. to see if this outfit worked. You mean you're going in there dressed like that? That's your fantastic idea? Well, when I saw what fans they were of Frankenstein, it made me think of this monster outfit my friend Bill Simpson had. So I went over to borrow it. Do you think it'll fool him? Do you think it'll work? Oh, I don't know, but even if it does, how is that gonna save Scott? Well, you see, I go in there and pretend like Frankenstein, and then I tell them that I want Scott as my own servant. And whatever Frankenstein wants, Frankenstein gets. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Oh, 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 boy, oh, boy. oh, boy, I like that. Hey, hey that hey. sure was a great picture. How huh? about that, Frankenstein? Is he something? Oh, gosh, <laughs> I'd sure hate to bump hey. into him in a dark cave. Oh, I don't know. I bet he's really not so tough. He probably uses the stand-in for all his stuns. No, he doesn't. No. Does. No, no, he doesn't he does. at all. He nice does time. all his scenes by himself. I know it. Oh, I heard it. Yay! It's him. It's Frankenstein. Himself in person. Frankenstein superstar right oh. here in our cave. Oh, 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 oh. I was only kidding. I didn't mean a I didn't mean the thing I said. <laughs> He's just a dummy. Yeah, yeah dummy, oh, dummy, 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 dummy. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. 
and we're all your fans. You never miss one of your movies. Yeah, yeah. we even sat through Frankenstein meets Gidget twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the time Better the second time. <laughs> love you in Frankenstein at the roller derby. Oh, that was a good one. You yeah. rolled over I'd everybody. I rather like uh, that one myself. <laughs> then you're not mad at us, Mr. Frankenstein? Me? Not mad. I always look like this. Hi, oh, oh, friends. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh Frankie. Oh, I'm loving Frankie. Frankie. Get Frankie. his autograph. Oh, huh? Can I have your autograph, please? Oh, oh please. boy. Oh, I, I look, it's going to get Oh, look, oh gonna get boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at that. Uh, oh. Can we have an 8 by 10 I photo? I got it. I got huh? it. Oh, God, can I have a bolt from your neck? A lock of your hair? Oh, Do you know Bella Lugosi? Oh, have you been to Hollywood a lot of times? Did you ever work with Lon Chaney and all? Oh, Dracula. Oh, but Do I you just... know him? Stifle yourself! Oh, oh it was. That is no way to tweet a Vicky like Mr. Frankenstein. Welcome to our humble cave, you ugly. Excuse a mess, but our butler was cleaning up. Scott! Frankenstein! Serve Mr. Frankenstein. He's a busy star. He ain't got all day. Here you are, sir. How about that? A human servant. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, uh, well, just help yourself there, Mr. Rep. What would you like? Anything you like? I like him. Huh? Come. You go with me. Oh, with you. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, wait, now. Uh, you don't want to take him. I like you in seven, too. I take. Come, boy. Oh, now, just a darn minute. Yeah, you can't take him. He's our servant. Yeah, who do you think you are, anyway? I am Frankenstein. Remember? Let's get out of here. Frank! Oh. Uh, Frankie's a Frank! That's not Frankenstein. Oh, oh, oh. It's the Frank brother! He's tricked us! Get him! Oh, Come oh, on, no, 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 That's a big idea. Come back here. Oh, get him. Come on, you. 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 Well, come on, after oh, you beat him, you just know where let's go. Oh! Now, look at this place! Oh, hi, sugar. We gotta catch him. We'll be right back. Oh, hi, sugar, you. I told you to clean this place. It looks worse than before. Out of my way, will you, Angel? I'll explain as soon as we get back. We gotta go after him. Quick, you dummies, they're getting away. Well, you three deadbeats aren't. <laughs> now get to work, you good-for-nothing, lazy-living lizards. Yeah, but Dumplin', you don't understand. Our butler is getting away. Well, you should have seen how he cleaned the cave. But that Frankenstein yeah. came. Uh, yeah. Knock it off! Cleaning or I start creaming. Did you say screaming or creaming? No! Now move, move! Move! Oh, clean, oh, clean, oh, clean! Oh, oh, Get every oh, seashell oh, off of the seafloor! Oh, uh, yes, you do yes. You sure are proud of you, Sigmund. Would have been goners without you. Oh, it was nothing. Are you sure you still want to live with us? Are you kidding? Phew. They may be a nice family to visit. But I sure wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> <laughs>
together, mate. It was horrible. I opened my eyes and you know who I saw? Nobody. That's who I saw. Hey, we just took the buggy out for a little spin. You were still sleeping, so we didn't waken you. You shouldn't be afraid to be alone, Sparky. Right. You're a smart little fella. Just use your gingerbread. Gingerbread? You know, you lump a lead. Huh? Your head, man, your head. <laughs> Gosh, you talk funny. Look, Sparky. You're in Tranquility Forest. There's nothing to be frightened of here. Or are you sure? Sparky, Sparky, let your light shine on. Oh, Sparky, if you want the gray clouds gone, don't be afraid. Stand up and fly. The sun will find you, don't be afraid. Light up, light up, Sparky. You can sail above the trees. Oh, Sparky, what you doing on your knees? Don't be afraid. Why don't you try? Boy, how about it, Sparky? Gosh, thanks. I feel a lot better now. And you'll never be afraid to be left alone again? Never. I've got it. I've got it. Beautiful. 
beautiful Benita. Beautiful Benita. You are gorgeous. You're divine. Dainty Benita. Saintly Benita. I'll kill myself till you are mine. It's a hit. It's a hit. <laughs> This'll be a golden record. Yeah, Lipschitz. It was sheer poetry. <laughs> oh. It was sheer nonsense. That's what it was. It was putrid, just like all the others. You, 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 you tone deaf weirdos. You're gonna get it. Oh, you're really gonna get it. <laughs> what the hell? A himmel. We accidentally turned on her radar. It's a bugaloo. Oh, we're picking up Tranquility Forest. Listen to those buggy brats. They come up with a new song every five minutes. What have they got that I haven't got? Helen. <laughs> You're asking for it. You're really gonna get it. Wait a minute. Of course. That's it. That's it. What's it? The Bugaloos live in Tranquility Forest. That must be where they get all their inspiration. Yeah. The bees, the birds, the flowers. So that's who they've been swiping all their songs from. Yeah. And now we're going to start to do a little swiping on our own. <laughs> Wait, bye bye to the big city caves. Tranquility Forest, here we come. This looks like a divine spot. <laughs> oh, just breathe that beautiful, cool, clean, fresh air. <laughs> All right, wise guys, cut it out and start unpacking. <laughs> oh, I, I think I feel a song coming on. Oh, it's, it's so exciting, loving it. And I, I feel so, so woodsy. Oh, Mother Nature. Do your thing and lay that groovy inspiration on me. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, little bird. Uh oh, there goes the neighborhood. I am not afraid to be alone. I am not afraid to be alone. <laughs> I think it's beginning to work, and I'm not afraid to be alone. Cut it out! Hey, hey watch cut it out. out! Hey, get off of me! <laughs> Quiet, you bumbleheads! I came here to write a song. I need inspiration. If I wanted a dirty mess like this, I could have stayed home. <laughs> Shh! Someone's coming. I'm not afraid to be alone. Hi, folks. I'm not afraid to be alone. I'm not afraid of... <laughs> we need a bazaar. Grab him. It's the twerk who lives with the bugaloos. He's spying on us. A little snooper. They must have sent him here to steal my song so they can win the Peter Platter contest. No, I'm just a kid. I'm not old enough to steal. <laughs> you know what we do with spies. Can I have a hundred guesses? Sure. <laughs> Let's string him up and use him as a nightlight. Yeah. What's hey, he doing? Hey, look out! Hey, oh. 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 <laughs> hey mate, have a look at this. Looks like plain rubbish. It is. Well, you better get your money back, darling, because we've got all the rubbish we need. <laughs> I found it in the river. Water polluters? In Tranquility Forest? Well, I'm going to fly upstream. I'll give him a bit of what for. Curly courage. We've got to figure this out calmly. Sparky! What's happened? I was walking in the woods, practicing being alone, when all of a sudden they jumped on me. They? How many were there, Sparky? Well, I think about a hundred. Oh, child, it's hysterical. Sparky, who jumped you? Bonita Bazaar, that's who it was. Bonita Bazaar? What's that old rat bag doing in our forest? She's jumping on people. That's what she's doing. <laughs> something is coming over the grapevine. I smell something. It's not a skunk. It's wrong. Smog doesn't smell stupid. Somebody's <laughs> built a fire. That tops it. No time to be calm now. Let's go. I can't leave Sparky. I'm not afraid to be alone. I'm not. Oh, 
Oh, oh yes, yes I am. Hurry, boys, hurry! Fire! Move along there. Hurry! If that fire heads this way, instant great jelly. <laughs> <laughs> for my song. <laughs> Funky! Your diminished steak will be finished in five minutes. Forget the steak. Put out the smoke. He's got me talking that way now. <laughs> there it is. Fire at six o'clock. Bombs away. <laughs> what was that? He's right on target. Good show. <laughs> Those rotten bugs did it. Who do they think they are? Let's talk it to them. All right, that's a good idea. <laughs> Sorry, but we had to do that, ma'am. We have rules here in the forest. Oh, I didn't know. And fires are a big fat no-no. <laughs> a big fat no-no? <laughs> a cute, cute. <laughs> Laugh it up, Alan. Oh, 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 I will have to ask you to leave Tranquility Forest. Oh, why you let me at him? I'll get down, down, him. down. You know how I hate violence. Get the big Z. I'll tell you what. You're such cute little bugs. I'd like to give you a big present before I leave. A present to us? Oh, come off it. Oh, really? Funky, give it to him. Yeah, my leader. Cut, cut. We don't want to overdo it. They just didn't have any manners. Rude. Yeah, very rude. <laughs> you gave them such a nice present, and they didn't even say thanks. <laughs> Lady. It's not the Buggaloos. Someone else is coming. Oh, it's Benita and her gang. Oh, no. What could have happened to? Something's wrong. Quick, hide. Don't let them see you. It's big trouble. Get out of sight. Well, this is more like it. Oh, what a crazy tad. <laughs> It's here. <laughs> oh, I say, it was awfully sporting of those buggy blighters to notice their digs for a fortnight or two. Hey, what, chap? Say what? Hip, hip. And all that sort of rot. <laughs> We've got to go see what happened to the boys. She killed them. She killed them. And it's all my fault. They're still breathing. I think they've been zapped. Is that worse than being killed? <laughs> I've got an idea. It's a chance in a million to save the boys. I'll do it. We've got to go back and get that zapper. You better do it. I mean, uh, well, I'll stand guard here. Good idea. I'll be back as soon as I can. So myself. <laughs> you did it, Booth. You did it. You wrote a hit. Bravo, bravo. More, more. Well, wherever you go, 
someone with that. Benny a bazaar. She zapped us. Blimey, how did we get out of that RV nickel? <laughs> it was your pickle. <laughs> hey, I'm beginning to understand you. What well, Joy swiped the zapper and she unzapped you. She oh, did. Wow. Oh, wow. Thanks, thanks, Joy. Oh, thanks thank a you. lot. Sparkin, I thought you were all done in. Well, we're not. And we're ready to start a little doing it of our own. Yeah, where are the mangy blighters? They took over our pad. What? what? They moved right in. Well, we just have to move them out. We'll tear them apart. Yeah. Ha, hee, ha. <laughs> Let's give them a dose of their own medicine. Come on, you know violence is now, bag. We've got to get them out of Tranquility Forest. Yeah, how are we going to do that without a fight? We've got to teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Oh, ha, hee, ha. Oh, oh, hey, help. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Marky, you shouldn't go around scaring folks like that. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Hold it a minute. I think good old Sparky's come up with the answer. Yeah, and I didn't even hear the question. <laughs> so gather around, kiddies, and lend me your tears and cheers. <laughs> tears and cheers? Years. <laughs> Dumbcoffs, afraid of the dark? Go to sleep. We've had a busy day. Well, if there's anything I'm not afraid of, it's... Ooh. It's... It's... What's the matter? You look as if you've seen a ghost. It's... It's... What is it now? It was a ghost. A ghost? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> it was. It was. We saw him. It was. Well, the next time you see him, show him to me and I'll slug him. <laughs> I'll kick him. I'll twist him around. I'll... Oh, 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 oh. oh I tell him I was only fooling. Some of my best friends is ghosts. Uh, hello. Big What, are you having a nightmare or something? <laughs> no, boss. We're having ghosts. They're all over the place. Hundreds of them. Ghosts? <laughs> you trying to tell me this place is haunted? <laughs> well, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever... Help! <laughs> Help! Beware, Plutus, beware. Help! Wait a minute. There's something very familiar about these ghosts. You know it, darling. We're the ghosts of the bugaloos. <laughs> the bugaloos? <laughs> you rotten rat. You always zap them. You killed them. Yeah, and they've come back to haunt us. <laughs> Nice work, 
be heavily artists. We sure socked it to them. I bet that's the last we'll see of their ugly airs and graces. <laughs> Faces. <laughs> Golly, I never saw anyone that scared. Not even me. So you should learn a lesson from all this, Sparky. There was nothing really to be afraid of. And if you just use your gingerbread, there usually never is. I know, I know. I learned, I learned. I'll never be afraid of anything again. Never. Boo! Hey, Kim, can I get it on my farm? Sparky! Sparky! The bugaloos, the bugaloos, we're in the air and everywhere, flying high, flying loose, flying free as a summer breeze. The bugaloos, the bugaloos, we're climbing high and diving low through the sky, across the land, straight to you with a helping hand, ready with a helping hand. Friends indeed, should you need, if you ever need The bugaloos, the bugaloos We're in the air and everywhere Flying high, flying loose the show now, and I am going to do a solo. Oh, Whoa. great, Captain Cool. Thank you. Far out. Yeah, but it's a very difficult solo, so I need you guys to give me a hand. Oh. <laughs> Today, when a super-secret black box that makes all weapons disappear is stolen, the army is convinced the thieves are Bigfoot and Wild Boy. And on Wonderbug, when the Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Don Sutton gets caught for real, our kids in Wonderbug charge to the rescue. And Magic Mongo uses a special love spell to help Donald win the girl of his dreams. But instead, he zaps Lorraine. Turkey, if you have $10 in one pocket and $20 in the other pocket, what do you have? Somebody else's pants on. <sighs> <laughs> okay, kids, time for Nashville's how to. Today we're going to learn how to get up for school. Okay, Turkey, show the kids how to get up! <laughs> Out of the great Northwest comes the legendary Bigfoot, who eight years ago saved a young child lost in the vast wilderness and raised that child until he grew up to be Wild Boy. Attack. 
21. What happened? It works, Sergeant. It works. Wild boy. Heal up. Hurt. Well, this will help. There. Now, next time, don't go sticking your tail into places where it doesn't belong. Right, Bigfoot? Nama. Rocko. You heard Bigfoot. Go on. Soldiers? In the valley? Robulu. Anta. They never come this high in the mountains. I wonder why. Maybe to find you two. Susie! Susie, get down. Gee, wild boy, I didn't know you cared. Oh. They'll be gone tomorrow. They're here to test a super secret new weapon or something. Weapon? Bigfoot? Nepal Osu. And you stay here. That's right, sir. The test worked perfectly. This new defense system can make all weapons obsolete. See you tomorrow, sir. Over and out. Well done, Sergeant. Corporal. Thank you, sir. It was a real privilege. What's that? Noise came from over there. Bigfoot, over here! Somebody wants people to believe these tracks are yours. Come on, get in there. Let's go. Come on. Sorry we took so long, Major. But these two are the only things we found inside our perimeter. Who are you calling a thing, fella? I'm sorry, miss, but you'll both have to stay here until we move out tomorrow. Don't blame you none, neither, Major. I hear that Bigfoot screaming, too. Bigfoot? You think that was Bigfoot? I know, Missy. Bet you men didn't find nothing but some giant footprints. Right? That's old Bigfoot, all right. You boys are in for a heap of trouble. Wow. Wow. Yep, you take that side. Sergeant, look that over. Bigfoot, the army camp. The black box is gone. Hate to say I told you so, but Bigfoot's the only one could have done that. All right, come on, man, let's mount up. I'm sorry, sir, it's gone. I know, sir, in the wrong hands, that box could destroy the world. But don't worry, sir, we'll get the black box back and this Bigfoot. <laughs> Excuse me for laughing, Sonny, but people have been trying to catch old Bigfoot for a long time. If you're smart, you'll pack it in before you lose something more important than a box. Your lives. Everybody in the vehicle. You too. Hey, wait for me.
soldiers. Get down there and get that boy. Come on, boy. Just back this thing up. Turn it around and let's get out of here. Catch him if you can't keep up. the giant will come back to free the boy. And when we have him, we have the black boxer. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed, sir. We will indeed, sir. Rover 1, this is Rover 2. Come in, Rover 1. What's the matter, boss? You want me to do my uh, Bigfoot number again? No, oh, you fool. The real Bigfoot showed. The real Bigfoot. The army caught some weird kid friend of his. He's using him for bait. There's no way I can get the box out until it's all over. Unless maybe uh, if the kid escapes. That's a good idea. Set up a little diversion. I'll do the rest. That's fine. Don't talk. But when that giant shows up again, we'll have him. That's him. Everybody move close. stuck in a gopher hole. Shh! Now everybody be quiet and follow me. Hurry, boy. No questions. Just get out of here. Help! Help! The boy's getting away! Grab him, somebody! Grab him!
Will Bigfoot and Wild Boy be captured by the Army? Or will the real culprit succeed in stealing the country's latest defense weapon? Tune in next week and see in the next exciting episode of Bigfoot and Wild Boy. And now, this week's letter to the captain. Yeah. Dear Captain Cool. I'm a girl and I think girls are better than boys. My boyfriend thinks boys are better than girls. What do you think? Signed, bewildered. Dear B, if you're choosing up sides, count me with the girls. Sitting in a junkyard waiting to be grown up is a pile of cars. Looking for an old car, found a funny slap car. Let's make him ours. Found a magic horn, a new car was born. The toughest of the toughest, two good cars. Wonder by. game will keep the orphanage from being torn down. Are you kidding, girl? With Don Sutton pitching? They'll sell out faster than fast. Hey, Cece, let's see if we can get Mr. Sutton's autograph while they're warming up. Right. <laughs> you better get a rest, little buddy. Your pistons must be pooped. Once we get this guy Sutton out of the game, everybody's gonna want their money refunded, eh? Yeah, beautiful. And with no money, no mortgage payment for the orphanage, yeah. and the land is ours, eh? You got it, you got it, <laughs> hey! All right! Wow, look at that. No wonder they call him the fastest gun in the West. <laughs> good one. That good stuff today, don't they? And look who's catching those bullets. Steve Yeager. Right. Hey, hey, Donnie, baby. All right. How's the old arm today? The old arm is uh, real fine. Uh, how's how's yours? Uh, are you kidding, right-hander? Well, just yesterday, I was showing Tommy Seaver Tommy. the old Steve, spitball. Is that all for today? That's enough. Yes. I'll see you in the locker room. OK, huh? OK. You got it. Mr. Sutton, would you give me your autograph, please? Sure. Got your pen? Oh, yeah. OK. I'm good. Lay it on me too, Golden Arm. CC right. is the name and baseball is the game. Hey, Don Sutton. What phone call? Excuse me. Okay. Catch you later, eh? I don't believe this. I'll never get his autograph. Oh, sure you will. That's right, Barry. That dude is no dud. <laughs> Picture. That means it's time for Wonderbug. Okay, little buddy, do your thing. Uh, the big W rides again. Yeah. Um, Come on, Wonderbug. I can't believe that somebody poached our picture. <laughs> Better search the park again. He's got to be here. Let's do it. <laughs> Me neither. Either. All right, everybody, just calm down. Hey, look. Why don't we just ask that little old lady over there? Wait. I have a better idea. 
Why don't we just ask that little old lady right over there? Now, there's an idea, Barry, my man. You have got it again. Excuse me, miss. Mrs. It's Ms. Uh, listen, we're looking for Don Sutton, the pitcher. Have you seen him? Sure, he was lying on top of the frozen bananas. That's why I had to take Tootie Fruity here. <laughs> Sutton on frozen bananas? Hey, the kidnappers must have driven him off in the ice cream truck. Doom, doom, and double doom. Now we'll never find him. We will if we go to 2754 Crest Home Avenue. How do you know that? And that's the address written on this ice cream wrapper. Bear my man, now I know why you're in the driver's seat. Let's go. <laughs> What's he saying, Barry? <laughs> he says, if we're going in there, be careful not to get creamed. Oh, oh Schlepp, this is no time for humor. This place is closed. Oh? And I suppose Donnie Sutton closed it for you, huh, buddy boy? So you know what's happening? Grab him, Roscoe. The only thing I know is it's time to go. <laughs> Sorry, you guys had to get all involved in this. I wish there was something I could do. There is. Can I have a quick autograph? Well, I am a little tied up. I can dig it. No, 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 no. You Easy. get going. Uh, what do you think this is? Careful with the goods, man. Hey. It's only one hour until the game starts. Wonderbug, where are you? <laughs> Wonderbug's still at the factory. He'll never find us. <laughs> so, 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 what are they saying? The crowd at the ballpark. They're screaming for their money back. It's not for celebration. I'll go get us some. Popsicle. Popsicle? I like brown. Give me brown popsicle. Hey, Snyder, come here. You got to hear this. Guys, without Wonderbug, it looks like we're going to have to save Don ourselves. Yeah, but we're still hemmed in by the hemp. Right. Here's what we do. Ow! That's sharp. Barry, my man, you have done it again. I have? Oh! I have. got a plan. We get an apple pie, King Kong, and a thermometer. Take the thermometer. No, no, Barry. What we'll do is we'll just fight fire with fire. See, we'll dress up like gangsters, and we'll out hoodlum those hoodlums. There's no time for that, Susan. Hey, I have a better idea. Why don't we just dress up like gangsters and out hoodlum those hoodlums? <laughs> On with the plan, Barry, my man. <laughs> it just isn't fair. <laughs> Lucky my hands are tied. 
Yeah, otherwise you throw us a coin. Huh? Throw us a coin! <laughs> Come on, keep on throwing it. said what he said. Is that the Godfather? <laughs> Listen, you palooks. I got a fat bet on a game today. I hear you've been moving in on my territory. This upsets me greatly. Godfather, we, uh... <laughs> we... <laughs> Looks like your brother's gonna have company on that Ferris wheel. Oh, look, Godfather, no. No, we'll do anything you say. Anything? Sure, sure, sure. just name it. name it. Can I have Don Sutton's autograph? <laughs> <laughs> From these guys to demons! <laughs> it's those kids again! Grab them! I fought him for that old trick. <laughs> Don't get him, Big W! That's it, Wonderbug! Come on! <laughs> Can't go anywhere without these. Hey! Top it off with. And here's the pitch now. Ground ball is short. He's up with it. It's a long throw to first. Wow, getting Don Sutton back for the game really saved the orphanage. You know, I bet those two guys wish they were here instead of in jail. You know, I've never been in a, a bullpen before. This is terrific. Yeah, Susan, and so is Don Sutton. We're ahead six to nothing. Yeah, real terrific. But I still never got his autograph. <laughs> Sutton winds up the pitch. It's a fastball. Berkey swings, connects. Deep in the right field. It's going. Going. It's gone. He says he got an autograph, too, <laughs> on his tires.
Red is a rose, grape is a jelly. Mel's something white that's good for your belly. You should drink milk one glass every day. Drink it at school, drink it at play. Drinking milk puts us on the right road. And if you don't drink it, the cows will explode. <laughs> Hey, Captain. Yeah? See these long, slender fingers. Yeah? And see these luscious red lips. Yeah? You know what I can do with them? No, what? Do you have the time? Uh, uh, time? Oh, yes. I've got plenty of time. What are you doing for lunch? Listen, Hotshot, if you don't have the time, just say so. Wait! I'll buy you a clock! You can use my body as a sundial! Anything! I... Donald, you couldn't pick up a girl with a forklift. Besides, the way you threw yourself at her was absolutely disgusting. You're absolutely right. I'm disgusting, excuse me. What'd he say? <laughs> Mongo! Mongo! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. I got this at a garage sale over at King Arthur's. What do you think? <laughs> you better change and help me with my problem. You got it! What is your wish, O oh, Swami of the seashore? Look, see that girl? Oh, I want to get to know her real bad. Hey, no problem. I will zap her with a love spell. When she opens up her eyes, the first person she sees, she will fall in love with. And that person will be you. What, that's all it takes? Hey, would I kid you? Watch. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know. <laughs> I feel really weird. <laughs> Mongo, you zapped the wrong girl. Whoops. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Oh, Ace. Ace, you gorgeous thing, you. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you look just like the fun? <laughs> yeah. I guess I've been told that. <laughs> oh, and a leather jacket, too. Very cool. <laughs> Very handsome. Well, you want to, uh... What, you want to wear it for a while? <laughs> oh, Ace. You're so sweet. <sighs> Donald, you've got to do something! You're right! Donald! <laughs> Come on, Donald. Oh, Case, oh, this isn't love. It's all a big mistake. No. You see, Lorraine is under a spell. Oh, and a she... spell? Yeah. Let me and spell she... something for you. Uh, no. no. Oh, how'd you like a F I S T in your F A C E? Ah, no. Good spelling, old buddy. <laughs> Skip in my office. Oh, right over here. Oh, I, come on. Hey, um, uh, it was just. <laughs> Surfboard? Mongo, you miss Daisy with your love spell in 
it, Lorraine. Oh, and now she's in love with Ace. Oh, well, that just goes to show what a terrific spell it was. Oh, you got to save Lorraine from a fate worse than death. Yeah, grease poisoning. <laughs> well, I'll just have to come up with a spell that cuts grease. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Gee, I really dig your vibes, AC baby. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mongo? Oh, you can never find a genie when you need one. <gasps> I heard that, Donald. I heard that. And after I went all the way to the Amazon just to help you. Oh, Mongo, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Listen, this is a leaf from the front front bush. Now, if you can stick this on Lorraine's forehead, I can break the magic love spell. Okay. But you've got to distract those creeps so I can get to Lorraine. Hey, no problem. I'll send those creeps to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Stop! Hey, what's going on? Hey, come back here, you're crazy, Hopper. Not exactly what I planned, but it worked. Quick, Donald, now's our chance. Ray, this is gonna sound dumb, but I gotta stick this leaf on your forehead. You can take your leaf and sit on it. <laughs> Rain, you can't go with a jerk like Ace. You're right. I'm not gonna go with him anymore. Oh, great! <laughs> I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> marry him! Oh, Lorraine, come on! Donald! <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> you know what I do with leftover turkey, don't you? Oh. The knock, uh, the stuffing out of it. <laughs> you know where my office is? Oh. I gotta figure out a better way of handling Ace. Well, we better do something fast. We can't let our best friend marry the biggest creep on Earth. Well, look on the bright side. She could have fallen for Attila the Hun. Oh. I figure we ought to get married in the right setting. Like the pool hall. <gasps> oh, terrific! Acey baby. <laughs> Donald, you've got to put that leaf on Lorraine's forehead and break that spell. I know. I only wish I knew how. Hey, like I told Benedict Donald, if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey! And us bad dudes want to join up with, uh, you bad dudes. Oh, it's the baby. They want to join us. Ain't that terrific? No. Why, oh, they see. If they want to join us, why can't they join us? Okay, sugar lips. They can join. <laughs> Well, hey, zip it up. You just gotta pass the initiation first. Huh? You know, some simple tests. <laughs> there. Now I did the hard part. All you gotta do is straighten it. <laughs> hey, no problem for the. Champ of the Chappers. <laughs> he did it! He did it! Oh. It ain't perfect, but he did it. All right. Now all we want is a few basic skateboard tricks, okay? Hey, no problem for the master. <laughs> On the sand. <laughs> Still warming up. <laughs> Mongo, help! No problem. Do you see what I see? I'm scared. 
stranded here, aren't I? But I don't believe it. <laughs> okay, this is your president speaking. You got lucky, so you're in the club. Yay! But I ain't happy about it. So I'm going to go sulk. Here, I'll help you. Your chance put the leaf on Lorraine's head. Lorraine, I'm gonna save you. Hey, Ace, look, he's making a passage to Chick again. <laughs> All right, Connolly, your goose is cooked. <laughs> on second thought, let's take a rain check. I'm gonna make me some turkey fricassee, huh? You. <laughs> Mongo, I need your help in a big way. No problem. You got it. Sugar lips. Get your greasy hands off of me, you nerd! Oh, she's back to normal! <laughs> I promise, I promise, I promise. No more love spells. Good. If I had to go through that again, I don't know what I'd do. Bongo. <laughs> huh? Gorgeous thing, you. Did anyone ever tell you? You look just like <laughs> the fun. The fun. <laughs> oh, Lorraine, don't tell me it's another love spell. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Only kidding. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Or wit, 
Grinch, who had in mind the flute to snitch. From her broom broom in the sky, she watched her plans materialize. She waved her wand, the beautiful boat was gone. The skies grew dark, the sea grew rough, and the boat sailed on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. But Puffin Stuff was watching too and knew exactly what to do. He saw the witch's bold attack and as the boy was fighting back, he called his rescue racer crew as often they'd rehearsed. And off to save the boy they flew. But who would get there first? But now the boy had washed ashore. Puff arrived to save the day, which made the witch so mad and sore. She shook her fist and screamed away. H.R. Puffin's stuff, who's your friend when things get rough? H.R. Puffin's stuff, can't do a little cause you can't do enough. H.R. Puffin's stuff, who's your friend when things get rough? H.R. Puffin's stuff, can't do a little cause you can't do enough. Oh, Tito, 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 Trying to tell me something, my polka dotted friend? I'm practicing chewing, just in case I ever get anything to eat. If you want to eat like a horse? Go out and work like a horse. Get a job. I'm too weak to work. I need food. Food. Hold it. Here comes a couple of live ones. Here, munch on these, you sagging nag. Oh, yummy. Carrots. My favorite snick-snack. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Mayor Puffinstaff. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and loaded with gold buttons, I hope. How's young Jimmy and Freddy Flute? Hi, Ludacris. We're fine, thank you. What are you going to try and sell us this time, Ludacris? Tell you what, my fine friend. I've got a red-hot special today right here. Would you like to buy a stereo seashell that brings you continuous and glorious music of the sea merely by holding it to your ear? Here, take a listen, my boy. Excuse me for a second, Freddy. <laughs> Hold it, Ludacris. Who are you trying to hoodwink? That was you humming. You better give him back his seashell, Jimmy, and let's go. Thanks for the concert. I'm coming, Puffin Stuff. Let me get Freddy. What's your hurry, amigos? I've got something else even more amazing. Puffin Stuff, Freddy's gone. He's disappeared. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Where could he go? He's put him down on the counter. Where's Freddy? Horsey, did you see where he went? No, I didn't see anything. I was too busy eating my carrots. <laughs> What's that whistle? What whistle? That whistle. It came from inside him. It swallowed Freddy. Hello down there. Freddy, are you all right? Help Jimmy get me out of here. Jumping jelly beans. He did swallow Freddy. You stupid nag, you ate up a customer. I didn't see him on the counter. Honest, I didn't. Hold still, please. Freddy, are you okay? I'm okay, but get me out of here. I'm surrounded by carrots. <laughs> okay, horsey, now give him back. Cough, come on, cough. <laughs> Come on, you can cough harder than that. Come on. I'm trying. I'm trying. Come on, Puffin Stuff, help me. Excuse us, Horsey, but we've got to get Freddy out. Come on, Horsey. Cough. Cough. <laughs> Hang on, Freddy. We'll think of something. Hurry, please. Yeah, hurry. Get him out of me. <laughs> It's no use. There's only one thing to do. We've got to take him to Dr. Blinky's. Dr. Blinky's, that's a great idea. No, no, you'll never get me to go to that duck doctor. What's a duck doctor? A quack. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. No, wait, horsey, stop. Running away with Freddy. Stop, come back. As mayor, I order you to haul. Haul, horsey, haul. <laughs> Kinda hope they don't catch him. A whistling horse should make a fortune. I could star him in a musical western. <laughs> Hurry, we 
Witchy Poo, it's Freddy Flute. The polka dotted horse swallowed your golden flute. <laughs> <laughs> want to go, that's all right. Oh, good. That's a relief. Fine. Then we'll just leave you here for the witch and her trees to grab you. Oh, no. Oh, not that. I'll go. Oh, wait for me. Witchiness, come quick. The evil trees blew it. How did they blow it? It was such a simple snatch. I'll turn those wooden weirdos into toothpicks. Look at those buttonskis. That nitwit nag to Dr. Blinkies. I've got to think of something fast. Like what, Chiefy? Questions, questions, questions. It's always questions. When are you going to start coming up with some answers? <laughs> Greetings, Mayor Puff and Stuff. Good to see you, Puffy. What new? No. Sorry, fellas, but this isn't a social call. It's an emergency. Emergency? Dr. Blinky, you've got to do something. The horse swallowed Freddy. Oh, 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 my. Well, how did he do that? Uh, swallowed Freddy? Oh, that's terrible. Bring him in, bring him in. How did he do that? He thought he was a coward. You've got to do something, please. Heavens, yes. I better check his eyesight. Say, ah. No, no, doctor. Freddy's inside him. He's in his stomach. You've got to get him out. Yeah. Out. Good heavens, he really is down there. Now, hold still, horse. Open your mouth and say, nay. 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 Oh, my goodness. He's 
got an advanced case of fluteitis if I've ever seen one. Don't worry, Freddy. Dr. Blinky will get you out. Don't to hurry, please. Let's get him over to the operating table quick. No, no, please don't. I'm scared. <laughs> now, come on, horsey. Do as the doctor says. No, no, I won't. You can't make me. Oh, watch my head. Oops. Oh, careful, careful. Don't pinch my tail. Oh, watch it. Oh, 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 watch it. They're watching it. We're watching it. Careful with those jiggle Freddy. Oh, why did I do it? Oh, I'll never swallow another flute as long as I live. <laughs> Quiet. How's Freddy doing? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. Just whistling to keep up his courage. <laughs> what are you going to do now? How are you going to get him out? Tell us, tell us. I wish I knew. This is my first flute removal case. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Let the doc help you, Horse. And by tomorrow, you'll be as healthy as I am. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> There's a case like this in me on page 68. They didn't operate, they scared it out of him. <laughs> That's no good. Let me give him a little hot for and tickle it out of him. <laughs> no, no, Doc. I really got a great idea how to get Freddy out, she. <laughs> Quiet! I'm the doctor here. I'm the one that went to medical school, not you. Now, quiet! I said quiet! Ah, oh, Doc! Quiet or leave? Good idea. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> no, no, get back. You're sick. Oh, oh. Help! 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 Oh, let me go. Let me go. Help! 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 Let me go. Let go of me. Let go of me. Witchy Poo, are you just going to stand there? That's right. Dr. Blinky will get the flute out of that horse, just like I figured he would. He'll do all the work for me and save the wear and tear on my wand. How are you going to make the grab, Chiefy? Easy. I'll grab the flute and leave them holding the nag. <laughs> holding the bag, holding the nag. <laughs> Let's see. No, that's not it. Oh, oh no, that's. Not it. Oh, here's the oh. calculator. That's not it. Oh. Hurry, Doc. What well, are you looking for? Uh, oh. What else? A flute remover. I must have oh. one here someplace. Oh, no, please. Let me go. Hey, Doc, listen to me. I tell you, I know how to get the flute out, see? If I told you once, I told you a hundred times. Silence, please, silence. I must have absolute silence. Oh. I don't want to say anything, but this horse suddenly grew a long, hairy tongue. Uh, that's not his tongue, Doc. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I must get my glasses fixed. <laughs> now behave yourself, horsey. Hold him still, you guys. We're trying now, please. You're going to get Freddy out. Well, I'm trying to. Oops, I dropped my... <laughs> Let's see, now I have just what I need here. This will do it. This will... Now, let's see. Open your mouth wide. Oh, goodness me! Oh, amazing! A horse with two tails. No, Doc. He moved again. Now, hold still, horsey. Mercy! Mercy! Emergency! Help! Doctor! What's that? Mercy! Mercy! Help! Doctor! Help! 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 Is there a doctor in there? Oh. We need a doctor! <laughs> Get inside and grab that boot. You'll have to be a lot sicker than that. Oh. Mercy! Help! Help! Oh, I'm sick. Ah. Hark! The cry of mercy. I am a doctor. I must go immediately. Wait! What about Freddy? Doc, you gotta get Freddy out of horse. I'll be back in an instant. You heard? It's an emergency. Let him go. I can wait a year or two. Help! Is there a doctor in the house? Coming, coming! What a day! Busy, busy, busy! <laughs> oh, this is terrible, awful, frightful! I must do something right away! <laughs> you poor dear! You must have some terrible disease to look that bad! I'm not the one who's sick, you don't! He is! <laughs> Poor little sweet angel on the stretcher. Oh, well, you could have fooled me. I've, 
Just a minute here. You're the witch. Of course I'm the witch. But this is the truth. And I've come on an errand of mercy. Please, doctor. Look at the patient. Oh, the poor fellow. My goodness, he looks worse than you do. He must really be sick. Cut it out. Hey, cut it out. Let me up. Let me up, will you? Not until we get Freddy out of you. Freddy, the doctor will be right back. Show up the hallway. What's popping stuff? What are we going to do? If someone would just listen to me, I know what to do, see? <laughs> OK, fireplace, what's your idea? Smoke. Smoke? Smoke, sure. I'll puff my cigar real hard, see? Fill up the place with smoke, see? And horse will cough up Freddy, see? Gosh, do you think it'll work? Wash me. Here I go. No, stop that. Fireplace, cut that out. Ooh, ooh. We can't breathe. <laughs> hey, doctor, don't you think we should take him inside? Come, we'll carry him. We better not move him. I better take his pulse. Whoa, whoa. Right. One. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. I hope he's not suffering from dishpan hands or we're really in trouble. Uh, let's see now. A uh, hundred and twenty. Uh, Eighteen. Oh, uh, uh, twenty-eight. Oh, 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 a hundred and forty. Oh, well, eleven and a half. Eighty-three uh, minus one. That's mine! Come on, Doctor. Let's get this sicky inside your house. Move, Arson! Yes, my queen. I told you he's too thick to be moved. I'll take care of him out here. Now you did it. I'll have to take his pulse all over again. I may have to operate immediately, too. Air! I need air! Hey, fireplace, inhale, inhale. My pages are being barbecued. Oh, he doesn't bother me. He won't eat out my mouth. Fireplace, we're choking. Turn off that smoke. Pulse, you better get out. Oh, no. Here we go again. Back to the operating table. Oh, no. Please. Oh, not that. Oh, oh, oh no. Please. Oh, please. Who's no. that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, oh, no, no. You got someone who loves you. You got someone who cares. You got someone who picks you up if ever you need repairs. You got someone who'll take the time to listen to your 
Everything around here is either big or dangerous or both, and it's usually both. So let's get this raft together and get out of here. Give it to Will. We'll take the swamp to the river, and wherever we are, wherever it goes, sooner or later, it's got to hit an ocean. You know, uh, we may not have to go that far. People tend to build cities in the forks of rivers. What kind of people? Well, let's find out. Come on, put on your life vest. We can swim. Put on your life vest. I'm gonna miss this place. But not much. We can't take Dopey with us, Holly. I wish we could. Well, I'd probably eat the raft. Then we'd never get home. Hi, Dopey. Ah. I'll miss you. Ah. Bye, Grumpy. Goodbye, Grumpy. Ah. Ah. You're faster than pulling along in that swamp. Yeah, but we don't know what's ahead of us, Will. I just hope that there's no rough water. Well, I better take over. It's about time, Dad. This sure is a strange river. You can say that again. Wow. I don't like this. Dad. Are you sure this is the way to the ocean? What's that? It's a waterfall. Well, there's no shore, and we're being pulled toward it. Yeah, no fear. It's a hole in the wall. I'll throw us down when we get there. OK. Uh, quick. I'll get everything off of the raft. I don't know how long this pole's going to hold. It's no use, Will. You and Holly get off. Come on. Hey, but what about you, Dad? Don't worry Dad, about me. Don't, don't you. I said don't worry about me. Now, come on, get with Holly. Go, Holly. 
Follow the river. No. Let's, let's just follow this tunnel. Maybe, maybe we can find out where the river comes out. <sighs> carved and rivers just don't disappear. Let's keep going, Will. Come on, Holly. another human being. Nothing else could sing that badly. spell. I wouldn't want it said Jefferson Davis Kiley the third was inhospitable. Who are you? Are you Union or Confederate? We're from California. California? California says you. Why, that's not even the state, says I. I'm Rick Marshall, my son Will, my daughter Holly. It's a nice antique cannon you got there. Antique? Why, Sarah here served nobly at the Battle of Bull Run, and Antietam, and Gettysburg, and, and, and that ain't no way to speak about a lady. Where'd you get them funny clothes? You mean our life vests? Yeah, and them funny jackets. How'd you get in here? Where'd you come from? I told you, California. <laughs> Some mighty strange folks in California. Well, that's what we're trying to get back to, but we'd settle for any place on Earth. Uh, how do we get out of here? I mean, we were following the river and all Oh! River don't end. It just goes underground and then... It surfaces somewhere. Hold on. You hold on. It strikes me. That if you were to get out of here, you just might take it into your heads to, to file on my claim. And it strikes me that I could use some company here and some help. I am Jefferson Davis Colley III, a fair man and a good cook and one of the best artillerymen in the loyal army of the Confederate States of America, we shall rise again. 
course, we never been defeated. That's only what they dang Yankees want us to believe. You help me dig, and I'll share my supper with you. That fair? Well, it's it's your cannon, Mr. Collie. Sherry? Oh, Sherry here. Sherry ain't never hurt nobody. Eastways, not unless they deserved it. She's friendly. Dad, I don't like this. I want to go home. I don't know how long it's been since I, I've seen a TV set. Well, it doesn't seem to have hurt you any. You know what? These are just like the ones we found in all the other caves, but brighter. I wonder why. Well, I'm tired and hungry. Even our own cave was, was better than this place. glow like this. This whole load seems to be some kind of a power source for something. Gives off light and heat as a side effect. And these little crystals, well, they're just chips off the whole thing. You imagine how much power it has? Wow. You know something, Will? Maybe. Maybe it powers the time portal we fell through. Hey, you think they could be radioactive? Well, probably not enough to hurt us. I mean, take a look how long Collie's been here. Dad, how long has he been here? He doesn't look like he's 130 years old. No, I don't think so either. But he thinks he's from the time of the Civil War. <laughs> Will, do me a favor. Don't tell him who won. Daddy, Daddy, look what I found. Sleestack, the big insect. I wonder where Collie went to. Take a look at this. These scratches are new, aren't they? Yeah. We'd better get out of here. The Sleestack are probably still around. We should be safe down here in the cavern, shouldn't we? The sleep stack don't like the light. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> oh. oh, no, blue. See, blue ones ain't no good because they'll make you sick. You know? yeah. Oh, yellow ones are okay, though. See, yellow ones are fine, but watch this. Makes a good lamp, don't it? Yeah, the yellow one gets bright enough to blind you. But it don't last long. What's that? That's dinner. Of course, it ain't catfish, but it's almost as good. Put a little salt on it, but I'm running low. No rack of lamb tonight. Do you know what these are? Sure. First year I was here, shot three of them. Biggest dang Yankees you ever saw. They weren't bad, though. Tasted a whole lot like lobster. But yet again, not like lobster, if you know what I mean. Of course, they don't bother me much anymore. Well, the next one you see might shoot fat. They have crossbows. <sighs> and they think we taste good, too. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> Mr. Collie, where's the river? I can't tell you. I like you, but I can't. Mr. Collie, it could get very dangerous around here. This arrow is new. Oh. No. Huh. OK, why not? I'll tell you, a man can get lonely, lonely with nothing but, but fish and walls to talk to. Sarah there. She's not much on conversation. She's a fighter, not a talker. I'd like some company before you go wandering on. 
You might like it here. It's not so bad. You might even want to stay for a while. No, we won't. We want to go home. Mr. Colley, look, you fought a war because you didn't want other people telling you what to do. Well, we don't want you telling us what to do either. Well, I'm not keeping you here. But you are. You won't tell us a way out of here. And we could get lost in those tunnels searching for it. You got it, son. I told you. It ain't so bad here. This place is dangerous. Oh. Sleep snack. Sit down. Slimy, green, long legged. ourselves oh, no we we could get lost in those caves and may never find our way home yeah and then there's those yucky sleeve stacks they're probably all over the caves too you ain't working mr. Collie we thank you for lunch and we thank you for chasing away the sleeve stack but we're not gonna dig one more jewel out of that wall until you tell us how to get out of here if I tell you how to get out, you won't dig no more jewels, no how. You don't work, you don't eat, I don't care. Seems pretty realistic, doesn't he? Well, that's a better idea than the other one. Which other one? Well, that he's been here for over a hundred years and doesn't know it. Or that he's mad. You know, Collie's been eating those mushrooms for a long time. And uh, some mushrooms have funny chemicals in them that do weird things to your head. Dad, we're out of water. Mr. Collie, I'm thirsty. Oh, all right. You dig some jewels, and I'll get you something to drink. Oh. Here. Here now. This will wet your whistle. I don't Here. want a wet whistle. I want a drink of water. Ooh, what is that? It's Awful. Oh, that's fermented mushroom and fish juice. Oh, puts hair on your chest. <laughs> I don't want a hairy chest. I want a drink of water. Oh, all right. You stay here. Stay here and I'll get it. Now, what about the sleeve stack? Well, never mind them. I'll take some light crystals with me. Oh, Sarah's too big to take along with you, huh? No, she's out of ammunition. That was my last shot till I mix up some more. Out of ammunition? You don't listen. You don't have to shout. She's out of ammunition. Till I mix up some more, I have to filter the saltpeter, and it takes time. Huh? I'll go get your water, and you don't have to worry about anything. The sleep stack won't be back for a while. Huh? Yeah, something? I don't trust Collie. At least he's better than a sleep stack. Anything's better than a sleep stack. All right, let's go.
Amanda will lose it. Hey, I got it. How far does it go? All the way, I can see the light. the way out of here. Hurry, run! Holly, can you swim? Not a leak, why? That is smart, but one thing. What? Well, when you add yellow in, sometimes the light don't last too long. Into the river, come on! Quick, Let's go! Ah, come on! Oh. Quick. Ah. Hey, hey. You won't sink. Come on. Come on. Okay. I got that. Whoa! Hold on to me. Hang me. turned into a swamp. What's that? Ah, oh, that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The most dangerous beast I've ever heard of. In fact, we used to have one around our... cave. We're back at the pylon. And don't be! Dad? We must have gone downstream all the way. The river begins and ends right here in the swamp. This isn't the way out. Maybe there is no way out. There's a way in. There's got to be a way out. This is a closed universe. Like a, a locked room in space. I don't think I'm about to like this place. It's nothing but a swamp. I got to get back to my sherry. We'll just follow the river downstream. That's a mighty big Jenny trying to share this. Let me tell you a tale, a very scary tale About two boys who were surfing one day On a very weird beach round Dead Man's Point Where there are haunted sea caves, they say And strange sea monsters have been sighted there If you're traveling in the area, beware, 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 beware Sigmund, you're a rotten sea monster You're a disgrace to the family Go out and scare a human or you're through Oh, come on, come on. Meanwhile, back on the beach, Johnny and Scott are combing the rocks, unaware that behind them, Sigma Earth prepared to give them a shock. Boo! In total surprise, the boys eye this blob, what can it be? And then it groans and moves, and lo, it's a monster from the sea. Now, Sigma and the sea monster, and Johnny and Scott are friends. Friends that ever could be on the land or on the sea. Now Sigma and the sea monster and Johnny and Scott are friends. The finest of friends that ever could be. 
I'm sick. Ooh. Well, where does it hurt you? Oh, my stomach and my head, and I'm nauseous and everything. What's for breakfast? It's not if you're sick. Maybe that's your problem, overeating. And what you're eating. Uh -huh. Maybe it's too much of a change from shellfish and, and kelp to scrambled eggs and pork sausage. Uh -huh. It's probably just a stomach ache. <laughs> It doesn't feel like he has a temperature. What's the sea monster's temperature anyway? Oh, about 17. <laughs> we better get him to a doctor. Are you kidding? What kind of a doctor did you have in mind? Oh. Well, we've got to do something. Maybe we should call someone at SeaWorld, a marine land or the aquarium. Why not Jacques Cousteau? Now, this is serious. <laughs> Who do we call about a sick sea monster? Oh. Well, we're going to have to call somebody. Yeah, somebody. Well, you just stay here, Sigmund. We'll be right back, OK? Oh, oh. oh. Uh, I wonder what they brought for breakfast. Ooh. Oh, eggs and bacon, dried leaf. No, no. Oh, my favorite. Oh, brown bag. Love brown bags. Oh, crispy and good. Oh, oh it's good. Syrup. Can you give me a Dr. Adams? He's a marine biologist. He takes care of the sick fish. Man, I hope he can help us. He's our last chance. Who are you calling? Oh, uh, the city aquarium. Yeah, well, don't talk too long. Don't forget, Scott, you've got your dental appointment this morning. The city aquarium? <laughs> well, we just wanted to ask you a question. Well, the way you're juggling that phone, it must be something fishy. Fishy. <laughs> Did you get it? Aquarium, fishy. <laughs> Hello? Hello, can I help you? Oh, yes, Dr. Adams, I sure hope you can. You see, my brother and I, we found this sea creature down by the beach. A sea creature? Well, what kind? Jellyfish, starfish, sea urchin? Well, we're not really sure, but it's sort of green and lumpy. And, well, it has a lot of tentacles. Oh. And, well, anyway, it had a stomachache and a headache. A stomachache and a headache? Well, how can you tell? Well, you see, he said that he, he wasn't... He said? <laughs> well, I mean, my brother said that he... Tell me, does your creature have dry skin or clammy? Well, I'm not sure, but if you'll wait just one second, I'll have my brother go check. Scott, go see if Sigmund's skin is dry or clammy. Okay. Hurry. He's checking. I gotta get something. Sigmund, is your skin dry or clammy? Ooh. Dry. Oh. <laughs> His skin is dry. Uh, look, son, I'm afraid you'll have to bring your creature into my office. Uh, bring him in? Oh, we couldn't. You couldn't? Oh, well, you see, he's sort of shy. Shy? Uh, well, that, uh, never mind. It's OK. Goodbye, doctor. So he wanted us to bring you into his office. Which, naturally, we can't do, or else we blow everything. Oh. But we can't let him sit there and suffer. Well, you must have had something happen to you at home. Didn't you have doctors then? Oh, sure. MDs. You had MDs? Monster doctors. Monster doctors? What do you think we are? Uncivilized? <laughs> well, did you ever have a stomachache back home? Oh, yeah. I always had a very nervous stomach last time the doctor had to put me on a special diet. Well, now you're talking. It was probably a bland diet. Well, we can probably get that stuff at the store. What was it? Oh, let's see. There was melted jellyfish, mashed eels, and warm squid milk. <laughs> mashed eels? Mm -hmm. Melted jellyfish? Yeah. Warm squid milk. Mm. And that made you feel better? Uh. Well, it's a cinch we're not going to get any of those things at the store. Unless you go to a monster basket. <laughs> monster basket? Hey, then that's it. You mean 
You'll go back to the cave? Oh, but you can't. It's too dangerous. You might get caught. But, Sigmund, we can't leave you sick like this. Scott! Scott! Uh, yeah, Zelda? Time to leave for the dentist. Oh, darn it, I forgot. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm coming. What are you kids doing there? Never mind. I don't want to hear. Scoop! <laughs> It's all clear, Sigmund. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, that was a close one. My nervous stomach can't take it. Well, I'm not waiting for Scott. I'm heading out for the cave right now. You need that diet stuff in a hurry. Oh, please, Johnny, be careful. If something happened to you, I'd never, ever be able... Well, nothing's gonna happen to me. Now, you just relax and stop worrying and try to take a little nap. Oh, relax. Stop worrying. I never should have eaten that paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> and oysters. I win, I win, I win. All right, all right, stifle yourself. Just deal them, deal them. Oh. And you, keep it down, meathead. Can't you see we're playing cards? No. Oh, what a time for your mother to be off to a bridge club. Oh, no, wait, wait. Please, Big Daddy, won't you phone the doctor to come and see me? Are you kidding? Try and get one of them to make a cave call. Oh, my <laughs> stomach hurts. Daddy, can't you phone him, please? I bet Sweet Mama would. Okay. Okay, but the dime comes out of your allowance. Oh, and you <laughs> deal the cards. Oh, doctor. I need a doctor. Oh, All right, let me get the phone doctor. here now. Oh. Yeah. Hello? Hello, operator? Get me the Monster Medical Exchange. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to speak to Dr. Cyclops. Take your uh, temperature. Open your mouth, Sonny. No, 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 not a song. <laughs> well, that does it, Sonny. You've got a stomach ache, yeah. just like little Sigmund used to get. Yeah, but worse. Where is a little Dickens, anyway? Oh, oh, sweet mama took him for a walk. Oh, my stomach is hurting again, Doc. What do I do? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Special diet, same as Sigmund, remember? 
melted jellyfish, mashed eels, and warm squid milk. Uh, yeah, sweet mama bought all that goop for him. There's plenty left in the kitchen. A slurp, go get it. Well, I've got to run now. I've got to visit a sick whale. Uh, had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Can't stop blubbering. Thanks for coming, boy. Tell you that doctor could sure use a doctor. Oh, where's my diet food? I want my diet food. Oh. Oh, just keep it down oh. there, Sicky. Come on. Slurp, how's it coming? Oh, one order goop coming up. <laughs> okay, chef, get it right over there to him. Now that's enough for starters. Uh. We got some card playing to do. Let's get at it. And you deal. Now, put them down there. Let's see the cards. Okay. All right, now. Okay. Try and beat them. Two pair. Flounders and mackerel. Oh! <laughs> no, good. Three barracudas. I win. Oh! You want me to loan you some shells, Daddy? Oh, stifle. Just shut up and deal. I'll play pie. Big Daddy, will you get me some more of that? Stifle good... yourself and don't bother me. Okay, Slurp, I'll take two cards, and they had better be good. Uh, lots of luck, Daddy, lots of luck. Oh, lots of luck. Oh, 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 oh help, help, Big Daddy, help! Oh, oh, no, oh look in the kitchen. It's a human. Ah, human. It's human. Yeah, you must oh, look what we have here. Hey, oh, boy. oh, oh. Boy, that was too late And he was trying to swipe my diet food. Hey, let me go. Let you go? We'll, we'll let, let you go, go in about a hundred years. <laughs> oh, 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 he's been gone over an hour. Oh, poor Johnny. Something must have happened to him. Oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? Oh, Gosh, when is Scott going to get back? Oh, I can't wait for Scott. Stomach or no stomach, I got to go after Johnny myself. Ooh, what am I, some kind of a nut? No, Johnny was going to do this for me. I must go. But I better leave a note for Scott just in case. Let's see. Right here. Tight down. Yeah, I got you fixed up now. Good. <laughs> yeah, you tried to fool us just once too often, human. Yeah. yeah. We ain't forgetting that time you came down here and I believe you were Frankenstein. Yeah, and rescued your creepy brother. Well, you ain't getting away from us this time, Charlie. You are gonna be here till the sea cows come home. Oh, that's a good one. Sea cows. <laughs> Please, Mr. Ruse. I was just trying to help out Sigmund. He has a bad stomach ache, and he needs some diet food. Uh, well, he can't have it. It's mine, mine. And if dear little Sigmund wants some, he'll just have to come and get it. And if he does, El Grabo. Yeah, El Grabo. <laughs> Hey, I don't know if it's that diet goop or all this fun we're having, but I feel better already. Oh, <laughs> grab all! Ole! We <laughs> got Please let me go. I've never done anything to hurt you. Yeah, but you can't make fun of a big star like Frankenstein and get away with it. So stifle yourself. That's my line. Hey, talking about Frankenstein, what's on the tube tonight? Good idea. Let's watch a little show of vision. Yeah. I think that new medical show is on. Ooh. Bedside Beast. Yeah, and starring Dr. Marcus Whaleby. <laughs> oh, get it. I've had enough of doctors and sickies for one day. Oh, oh, they have got him. Oh, poor Johnny. We are in luck. The Million Clam Super Monster movie is on. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's see here. It's 
says, sir. Oh, it's a good one tonight. Tonight's pitch is stars the Wolfman in High Moon. <laughs> Wolfman? Oh, Wolfman, great, oh, terrific. Yeah. Right oh. on. Oh. He ain't no Frankenstein, but he's right up there with the biggies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's up there with the biggies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he is, the wolf man. That's our boy. No, it's the wolf man in high school. Look at him. Oh, I look hard. I look hard. Oh, I look hard. Hey, look what he's doing, sir. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, what was that? What happened? I heard something. Oh, Sigmund! You get him. I'll go this way. Oh, go, go to the right. Oh, I got him, him now. Look out. You got him? Oh, 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 run, run. I got him. Oh, 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 gotcha, you little dingbat. So you decided to come back and pay us a visit, huh? Uh, As a swipe my diet food. No, please help. Rotten kill. Now all that you're back, you're here to stay, runt. Oh, oh, cut it out, you guys. Leave him alone. Quiet, you're in no position to be given orders. Sigmund, get into the kitchen and fetch us some refreshments. Yeah, but we gotta get back to the movie. Oh, boy, this is like the good old days, having the little dummy back. <laughs> oh, here we come, Wolfman. Oh, sorry I pooped, Johnny. It wasn't your fault. Thanks for trying. Put a lid on it, you guys. No talking among the flunkies. And let's hustle those drinks, Sigmund, or I will fan your flippers. Oh, that's it. That's a Oh, hey, it's the front door. <laughs> Slave, see who's there and tell him we don't want any. Now oh, it looks like we ain't never gonna get to see this movie. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't want any. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Here comes the human's brother trying to rescue him. And look at that get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yourself. Uh... Hiya, Wolfie, you <laughs> old meathead, you. I saw your pal Frankenstein last week. Are you here to open a new bowling alley, too? Or... Oh, oh, my oh. car broke down. I want to use phone. <laughs> oh, he wants to use the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a riot, Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> Love your new hairdo. Who does your teeth, huh? <laughs> Where did you get those dogs? <laughs> Simple. Cut, cut that out. Oh. Ooh. Oh, 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 all right, kid. Fun time is over. Blurb, get that wig off of him. Get yeah, it off okay, now. Okay. Now, now we got all three of them. Yeah. Oh, hey, your brother sure got that head glued on tight. Now he hold it. Hey, let's watch it there, human. Uh, you can screech all you want. You ain't fooling us. Oh, yeah, we know this kid's your brother. <laughs> Hi, you guys looking for me? It's him, the brother. Well, then that's not him. Oh, well, then it's got to be the real Wolfman. <laughs> to die. Am I glad to see you? Oh, thank Neptune, you got here. Neptune, you left that note. Quick, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> the tunnel's that way. It's your diet food. Well, quick, let's run for it. Come on, let's go. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Sick. Oh, please, we'll join your fan club. Go to see all your movies. Who needs this? I'm a star. Oh, 
Friedman. How does your stomach feel? Oh, better, I think. <laughs> well, from now on, you're gonna eat a lot better. Phew, that was a close one. Thanks, Scott. Don't thank me. Thank Sigmund. Don't thank me. Thank the Wolfman. Oh! <laughs> hey, that reminds me. There's gonna be a full moon tonight, and I got a date with Peggy. Peggy? Peggy. <laughs> about an hour ago and now I just can't get you on 